Hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, wowzers, I've had some coffee and it's sitting in my stomach now because it's made with cream. And cream sits in your stomach. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm okay, I promise. Hi, Hannah. Hello, Golster. Hello, Fam Ma'am. I'm low. Hello, Joe. Hello, Mixel. Hi, chat. And hello, JD and Radiator. And Golster. I crawl in to say hello after vacuuming the stairs. I went on like a cleaning spree. Uh, last weekend, I was kind of like, I don't know, I just, what did I have to do? I had to do one task and all of a sudden, you know, cleaning for me sometimes happens on like these like click moments. Um, you can call them hyper fixations. You can call it hyper focus. You can call it like zoning in. I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I was just like on a tear this weekend. I was, what was I doing? I think I was just, I think it was like after I mowed my lawn, I was I showered and then I was like, you know what? I need to I need to vacuum my bathroom. Vacuum the bathroom. Locked in? Yeah, apparently. Oh, he's locked in. He knows. That's like the new phrase, ain't it? Mm hmm What's up, Gossin? Hello, Splinja. Yeah, dude. I am a hyper focused person. When it when it when it's on, it's on, man. And you just like it is it is nice to be able to kinda like turn off and just and just do stuff. Um it doesn't come on very often, but like when it does, like, whew. Vacuum the stairs, vacuum the kitchen, emptied my dishwasher, cleaned out so much stuff. It's great. Anyway, that was last weekend. You know what? I, you know what I think it was. I think it was also after. It must have been Sunday because it was after cooking stream. I just had so much stuff. I had to uproot. I wish I took a picture, but I'll take one next time. I had like tripods and cords and cameras and microphones like everything downstairs i was like you know what this ain't gonna get upstairs itself just yeet <laughs> i took everything up reinstalled all of my stream stuff thankfully it didn't like have any issues so gosh dang it was a process but we made it we did it and it worked out so cooking stream was great on sunday thank you all for joining me for that and then we're we're back into like actual streaming today so i'm good um gloucester did that just last night Went from, like, just, you know, getting the dog bowls to, like, vacuuming their place, to cleaning the counters, to cleaning the fridge, to including the dishwasher. Yes, yeah, like, so much all at once. It's like, easy peasy. <laughs> On we go. Uh, Splendid, hi, I'm playing Splatoon, so I'm lurking. No problem. Uh, I was playing Splatoon with Finn last night, and we're gonna, we're gonna continue Salmon Run, maybe, uh, after stream ourselves. Just a little, a little tiny peek into my life outside of stream. Um, I've been trying to get my scales lately, the silver ones for some outfits. I don't know. I've just been on a, just recently been on a salmon run grind. Just cause, just cause I'm down. Uh, Aaron Phillips, hello. My knee is getting a little better, so my leg wrapped up, so it's healing slowly. Still hurts, but at least it's like recovering. Nice, Aaron. I'm glad that after um, yesterday's uh, yesterday's fall that you're doing okay. Bebo blanket, hello, Blocko. Happy Tuesday. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Mixel, I've been invested in watching Freyrin Beyond Journey's End Peak Fiction so far. We also watched some. Uh, we also watched some Freyrin when I was on my California trip, Mixel. Um, I don't know, I don't know if there's like multiple Freyrin shows or if you know Beyond the Journey's End is is the season or the the story that we were watching particularly. But yeah, it was good, great so far. Freyrin is ageless in more ways than one. She's a, eternal in the story and also eternal in entertainment. I would say, in terms of like, it seems like a timeless timeless anime classic. Uh, AOA, yesterday I was so stressed. I stress clean for three hours. <laughs> you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna stress and do something, it might as well be cleaning. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it is quite nice. Whee! I don't mind that. Uh, Jenny, hello. Yes, I've seen Matt outside of stream slowly. Hmm. <laughs> yes. You mean like all of my cooking stuff, particularly Jenny? For sure. Uh, Golster, I went, I went for a nap and cleaning and had the weirdest dream. <laughs> I... I had a strange dream last night, but I couldn't remember all the details to it. Wish I could tell you, but I can't. <laughs> Some sort of like weird apocalypse, like world ending stuff, unfortunately. 
Not like scary, but kind of scary. Um, Glister, I have a new idea for a go-kart. What? Uh, what? <laughs> Was that part of the dream? <laughs> Mario Kart 9 <laughs> featuring uh, cleaning? Make sure there should be only one Freyrin anime, if I remember correctly. Uh, as far as I know. Beyond Journey's End is just a subtitle. Okay. Got it. I'm not I'm not familiar with all the show titles and the show names, but I know that we watched some of it. Yeah, Finn also got a Freyrin figure just for that reason, honestly. We. I'm on the beginning of episode 9. It is really good. I don't know how far we got. Finn can tell me, but also, but also Colin decided to go ahead of us. We were, we were, we were in California and we were just like, we were just like, oh, hey, we look over the screen and Colin's like surging ahead with Freyr and like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he did not wait for us. <laughs> he did not wait. He's just like, I'm going ahead. <laughs> y'all, y'all watch it on your own time. It's like, all right, thanks, Colin. <laughs> Dang, man. Uh, Glister, apparently I was meeting with some friends, I don't know who they were, and they had a normal car, and then I had a giant porcelain plant pot that was mobile, it had no engine. So, like the, uh, so, like the piranha plant from Mario, <laughs> it's what I'm imagining. <laughs> giant porcelain plant engine. Um, also Finn, verdict, verdict is in, votes are in, Cora likes the beef dinner. Oh, nice. Um, are you trying to switch your food over, Finn, to something different? Na, 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 na. Christ follower, hello. I finished Breath of the Wild. Do I buy Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, yes. It depends. Um, depends on how much you enjoyed Breath of the Wild. It depends on if you feel burnt out from it. Um, they're very comparable. They're very fun. But they're very similar. So if you are... Maybe if you're... If you feel like you're kind of exhausted of Breath of the Wild because you just finished it, um, you could wait a little bit, play some different games before jumping into Tears of the Kingdom. But if you really enjoyed Breath of the Wild and you enjoyed that experience... Uh, jumping in the Tears of the Kingdom would be fun. I just, I warn you that the game is very similar in terms of its map and its design. So that may be a little, almost too familiar, you might say. Um, but the, but the story is different and the gameplay is a little bit different. So as long as you don't mind exploring the same map, it's, uh, it is quite fun. It is good. Worth it in the long run. Uh, Aaron Phillips took some meds, uh, which took down the pain and got some ice on it. So I had to ask around for an ice pack. Uh, before I had to bed, or a heating pad. Um, because it's a because it's a wound, Aaron. I would say um, ice pack is fine because it's a cut. If it was a bruise, then if it was a bruise or some type of like impact injury or like a muscle strain, like a muscle a muscle tweak, then you do a heating pad. Heating pad is for relaxing your muscles. So in in case you get a sprain or a or bruising or something like that, use a heating pad. But if it's just like a if it sounds like scrapes and cuts. Uh, don't put a heating pad on a scrape and a cut. <laughs> Stick with the ice pack is fine. For sure. Uh, Gold Star, so I was driving to the supermarket in my mobile porcelain pot, drifted into the supermarket, and they were trying to locate it. It goes, this sounds like Mario Kart, Ghoster. <laughs> this sounds like some some wacky supermarket Mario Kart round, honestly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, Mix, I'm also watching the English dub, and the voice, the voice work is really good. Very mature voice direction is a nice touch. Good strong. Uh, also, Christopher, I just found a weapon in the Legend of Zelda that hits like 70 damage. That must have been some, uh, that must be some combining stuff. I'll have to see if I can make myself a 70 damage weapon. Also, Jenny, a nosebleed? Hello? Uh, I sometimes get those from blowing my nose too hard, frankly. But mine stop pretty quickly. Uh, Mix, also funny seeing voice actors I know. One of them is from Xenoblade. I can't say who, though. Ah, Xenoblade! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Um, Finn was playing, um, Final Fantasy the other night, and I, I swear I, I heard some Genshin voice actors in that game, but apparently not. I did some Googling, and literally one of the tweets that this vo voice actor said was, I am not in, I am not in Genshin, please stop asking me. I'm like, okay, got it, understood, loud and clear. <laughs> Don't mind me. I won't ask. <laughs> uh, Finn, you're not trying to switch the foods necessarily, but I got a nice deal on a box of mixed wet food. She never had beef before, so I'm glad that she likes it. I'm sure she also appreciates the variety, too. You know, that's one of the things about cats, is that cats, you can leave them alone for an extended period of time, but their, their kind of, like, hunter mindset um, is keyed in so that when you leave and you come back after, like, a while, it's they don't think that, like, oh, you've abandoned them for, like, hours. They actually think that you're leaving the nest, per se, to, like, go get food, to go hunt. So, like, when you come back and you have, like, new food or you have new varieties or you, you give some food... To them, that's, like, kind of the reward center of, like, oh, yeah, 
mom or dad just like went out to get food and now they're back and they're successful hurrah so you know you find a new flavor and they're like oh wow this is cool this is great thanks mom for treach for surviving the wilds to bring us this beef <laughs> but yeah so for real though um mr Ritter. just thought i would ask you yeah, no problem Aaron. Um, Gold Star, I didn't even play Mario Kart. It's weird. It's like a suppressed memory that came back. You will enjoy Mar Mario Kart. <laughs> you will dream about it. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, Hannah, hi. My tendonitis is bugging me recently, so thank you for reminding me that I need a cold compress. Yes, hello, Hannah. Is your is your tendonitis been bothering you because of work specifically, or just like in general? Um, and I'm assuming is it tendonitis in like the hands per se? We. Space boy, hello, space boy. Good morning. Hello. Uh, Ghoster apparently did a sharp turn and sudden braking, and then someone paused the paused and went like, "Is that my family?" At the brake screech, and the moment the ghost showed up, and then I woke up. What? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Skirt. I love the I love the tire screeching as what wakes you up. <laughs> Some tires are screeching outside. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that my family? <laughs> Who? That's great. Uh, Ghoster, unless you're my cat Nugget would be mad at me for leaving the house. How dare you, Bob? <laughs> ah, I'm gonna ground you. <laughs> yes. Uh, Finn, is that why Cora follows me around when I get home from work? Or is that she, is that, or that I like, or smell like rotisserie chicken? I don't know. Could be either one of those things, Finn. Could, yeah, it could be Cora saying like, Mom, Mom, did you find new food? Mom, <laughs> yes. Then she smells the rotisserie chicken on you, so she's even more intrigued by your smell. Hmm. <laughs> Who? Cat zoomies all their ancestors being nocturnal. Yes, exactly, Jadian. Run! <laughs> Must zoom now! <laughs> 2 a.m. springboard antics go brr <laughs> all the time. My cats my cats never really used to be, like, too crazy, though one, my one cat, Marcus, who passed away a while ago, he would just start crying at night, like, all the time. He Especially, like, if you were in the house alone, he'd just be like, meow! <laughs> Meow. I'm like, don't. Marcus! Marcus! Shut up! <laughs> it's terrible. But sometimes I have to, like, go find him. Go look for him. And be like, what are you doing, dude? Meow! <laughs> like, stop yelling. <laughs> We're trying to sleep. Gosh dang it. Uh, Hannah, probably work-related. It's in the left ankle. Tis genetic, apparently. Oh, no. Well, a cold compress should help, but also... Bleh. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've done some exercise exercises recently. One of my favorite ones that's just like kind of fun is doing a um, is doing a one-legged squat. So apparently it's like, apparently it's pretty hard to do, um, but you have to like, and actually the hardest part, the hardest part is like the balance part. You basically just like lift, hold one leg down and then just do like one squat on like one, one leg. Apparently um, it's, it's, it's good in terms of like, it's good exercise, but I can definitely feel like, um, don't push yourself to do this because I feel like a lot of the supporting muscles in my knees and like around my, my joints are kind of like straining and stuff. And I don't, I don't necessarily like how that feels. <laughs> like I would rather do, I'd rather do like regular squats. I'd rather do regular squats and know that I'm like strengthening my, the muscles around my knees instead of just like hardcore focusing, focusing on one leg. Um, because in exercise, in exercise, there is always the, the mantra of you can always do less weight and more reps and achieve the same result instead of doing like, instead of doing, uh, more weight and less reps, you know, more intensity. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to do that myself with a lot of the things that I do workout wise. Knees are the first to go in your thirties. Oh, thanks for reminder, Finn. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Mixel, I'm buying a new P monitor for my PC. One of my monitors has had dead pixels some several months or even like a year. Fine, I can put that to rest. No more dead pixels. No dead pixels for Mixel. That sounds nice. Wee. Hope it's a fun monitor. Um, Hannah, I would love to get a cat once I move out. My dad is allergic, so we have a dog who, of course, is a, is absolutely adorable. But cats are also just so cute. Cats are really sweet, and actually, cats are really nice because they're they're really really nice to have um, when you're either living by yourself. Uh, or like, you know that you're going to be away for a while, right? Um, dogs are like very, very high maintenance in terms of like, they always need to be walked. They always need to be, you know, taken care of per se. They don't really do well by themselves, but cats, like as long as you give them a food bowl and such, you can kind of leave them for a day, you know, if you need to, 
Um, so if you need to like go work, do your job or go to school, whatever it might be, it's great. It actually works really nicely. Uh, Ange, hello. Good morning. Pufferfish. <laughs> hello. Hello, Ange. How's it going? Uh, Chris Ren, I found out that if you put a topaz on a shield, it, it will electric the enemies. Oh, cool, Chris. I know that you can add gems to different weapons and stuff, but I never really thought about the shield. It's kind of fun. Um, Hannah, yeah, I want it to feel better before my 7 to 4 shift tomorrow. Usually it feels better after, like, a few cold compresses and some sleep. Some sleep. Do you take any medicine specifically for it, Hannah, or just those things? <laughs> you do your workouts by lifting those chicken racks. I'm gonna be buff. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, oftentimes in life, uh, your physical activity can really be based on, like, what you do for a living sometimes. Um, because most of the time my, my job is a desk job, and I'm, I'm at my computer analyzing stuff most of the day, I have to be really intentional about what I do for um, workouts. So I, I go biking, of course, but recently I've been doing a lot of push-ups and sit-ups, just like very, very simple exercises. But I need to do those because I don't do a lot of other physically demanding things per day. But if you think about someone who lives on a farm, who's a farm hand, or if you, you know, Hannah, if you're working like in a lot of physical labor kind of positions where you have to like lift and carry things a lot, that is sign up kind of your own semi-workout. But the fun thing to me is that that's, that's like a free workout that comes along just with the nature of your job. So it is kind of nice that you're getting in that physical activity and you're staying fit. Um, and it's also on top of your job too. I like that. I think that's really fascinating and fun, but I know that I, I know that it's very easy for me to say that as like an observer, whereas like it is very difficult to do physically demanding jobs um, every day. So my, my, my respect goes to those who do do that. Um, but also I, I appreciate the fact that y'all get some exercise per day, right? So that, that is part of the reason. Yeah, Hannah, exactly. I really need to do the exercise, but the motivation is just like, blah. <laughs> but see, that's that's where like it's so helpful to have it as part of your job because it's like, oh, well, I guess I, I have to do this now. That's kind of the mindset I had with my parking lot. Um, I have a very cheap parking lot. It's, it's, it's two miles away from where I work, but that was a choice that I made. Instead of spending the extra money to get a closer parking spot, I intentionally chose to have one two miles away. So it meant that I either needed to bike in two miles every day, four miles total, or I needed to walk that. So I was either going to be walking every day or biking every day. And that was just, that was a given. That was a standard, like, every single time. So that was just a decision that I made for that. But, you know, it's helpful when it's part of your work. Incorporating physical activity into that. Ange might be adopting a cat soon! Pending! Ange Rooney! Oh, I'm so excited! I want a cat mostly because I'm a lonely person, but no one is home most of the time. I live at school, visit home. Yeah. So then having having a cat who's just like up all the time to hang out with you. Oh, that's fun. Man, I got to school at 6.15 and I got home at 6. Like literally 12 hours. 12 hours out at school. And then how much of that is sleeping at home? So like your life is just out at school. And then, you know, come back home briefly to sleep, honestly. Yeah, well, Ange, if you end up if you end up with a cat, please let us know because we would be quite excited for you. Of course, like you know, your college transition probably plays into that too. But yeah, very excited for you. We we are we are cat people around here. I know that I I respect dogs, but really most of my experience with pets has been cats. So I'm kind of a I'm kind of biased in that way. <laughs> I will say <laughs> for sure. Jenna, hello, friend of Ron and friends. Hi, hello, Jenna. Happy Tuesday to you. How are you feeling? How's it been today? We're talking about all sorts of stuff. Cats and cats and chats and food and things. All sorts of stuff. Hwa. Having a cat is very good for ye old mental health. That's that's the truth, Space Boy. Um, cats can be very aloof sometimes, but they are but they are they are just nice to have a lot of times. It's it's so nice because oftentimes like they're very self sufficient, like they can hang out by themselves, but they're also there for you too. Um, Hannah, I'll be real. I'll be, I'll be so for real. My job is not that physically demanding. I'm on my feet the whole day though. So there's that. Not great for my ankle, of course, but better for my body for sure. It's like doing like a standing job per se. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of what I'm getting at, Hannah. Nah, I'm not renting. I'm a stay at home kid. So all the more reason why to get a cat. Yes. I haven't decided on a name yet, but I've come up with some ideas. Do you have the cat, Ange? Or are you like just entertaining, looking at adoptions and stuff like that? Ah, it's so exciting. I don't know. Um, I always like uh, I always I always like the um, like food names like pickles. <laughs> pickles is such a cute name. 
but also but also that has to be something that's kind of like inspired in the moment like of you seeing the cat and be like you know what you remind me of pickles <laughs> or or but then also um you can also have like really cute names i i think you can come up with a really nice name Ange. um especially one from maybe like i, I know i'm learning japanese but like um maybe something like kiki kiki would be really cute or something like that I like the name Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks sounds like a sounds like your your aunt or your grandma who's like, I don't want to curse. Oh, Fiddlesticks. <laughs> That's what I think of. <laughs> so Fiddlesticks does not sound like a cat name to me. <laughs> Maybe I don't know Fiddle. <laughs> My names are in Asian languages. Yeah, exactly, Ange. So I, I'm sure you'd come up with something real fun. I think English names are so <laughs> overrated. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Uh, Jenna Serps, I'm physically doing better. I've had an informative meeting with my supervisors about my, my hours at work and with the house on the move. Good. They approved me to work from home Mondays and Fridays once we get moved in and have a bed there and everything. Oh, yeah. Jenna, that's great. I'm, I'm glad that you were able... I know that conversation was very stressful, you know, like thinking about it and such. So I'm glad that you're... I'm glad that you've gotten past that, that, that obstacle, right? Good. <laughs> That'll be really nice. That'll help you mentally as well, I think. Plus, you don't have to spend those days just sitting at the cubicle, sitting at the desk. Sitting at the desk and, like, wondering, why am I here? Because <laughs> I've had those days, too. I wanted to name my dog Thumbtack when I got... When I got... What? <laughs> so valid. Thumbtack. What a name. Are they... Ooh, Gnocchi for a cat? Oh, that's a cute one. Gnocchi. Gnocchi is a pasta. Our current kitty is very chatty. Oh, Space Boy, that's cute. We like a chatty cat. Weep, weep, weep. Uh, Mixel, I wonder what my life would be if I lived at my sister's where she has our world famous cat, Sir Lawrence. Sir Lawrence, sir! Uh, <laughs> world famous, the world over. <laughs> you went to see cats this past Saturday. Ooh, that's so cool. Well, and you'll have to let us know. Like, whoever had a cat named John. Not me! No way! <laughs> Unless it was like, I don't know, John. If it was like related to an actor or something like that. Do not, no, do not name it John. Such a weird. That's a weird dog name and cat name and all those names. No thanks. Tortellini for a tortoise shell. Oh, Tortellini. Tort. <laughs> hey, Tort. Oh, my goodness. I probably named a cat Coral for something. Oh, definitely a reference to some fictional character. Hmm, can't imagine. <laughs> John Travolta cat. Yeah, I mean, you could. You could. Gnocchi's a fun name. I like that one. Uh, Jenna, so yay, Flex flexible work hours possibly i'm still a bit unclear as to when it starts but he said we would need to revisit after the wedding for some reason i mean sure he wasn't happy as it was for like a as as a permit solution but it gets us through may and, and june in some way well that's good it's a it's it's a work in progress jenna and i think any any progress forward in this kind of area helps in the long run so it, it's a good thing even if it's just kind of a may to june sort of thing <laughs> uh, waffle hello waffle Good morning. Uh, Mixel, speaking of names, last night we had a four-hour conversation on what our nephew's name will be. We've still yet to decide, but they're really heavy on biblical names so far, so it's like... My, that's like my entire Xenoblade knowledge. <laughs> I know those names. <laughs> I can offer some suggestions. I, I'm sure Shulk was at the top of that list, obviously. <laughs> no. Um, any leeway they have is more than I expected, so all things considered. It went really well. Exactly. I mean... The way that we were talking about it, Jenna, it was like, are they are they even going to be considerate of, of trying to work with you on this? So, yeah, like, no patience whatsoever. No working from home, period. But, you know, they budged a little bit, which is, you know, really nice to see, obviously. Um, also, on the topic of, uh, on the to topic of Genshin real quick, y'all, I, uh, I made the unfortunate, I made the unfortunate decision to go to some online guides to look up, like, hey... How how can I use Dia in my in my party now that I have her? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like I, you look at like DPS support main sub DPS or whatever and like it was they they do like rankings and stuff and it was like C D B <laughs> like she's got no teams man. She's just, she's just not, she's just not there. Welcome to the Copium Cult. I, I was, I was huffing the Copium, and I was really, I was really hoping. I was like, surely this isn't a, this, surely it's not that bad of an investment, right? 
Yeah, Dia's just like a lost cause. That's what I thought. Glowster was like, I can, I can, I can use her in my party somewhere. Like, I know that she can be helpful. Like, no. She just, she just, no. Yeah. Not happening. It's all right. Um, I was thinking Haru or Hikari. Oh, Haru equals spring. Hikari equals light. Oh, neat. Hikari is Mithra's name. Oh, is it really? Oh, because light. Oh, that's neat, Finn. I was thinking Hikari from, uh... Octopath, actually. Also, speaking of Octopath, welcome back, Blocko. Finishing up Octopath. Um, Block, are you are you playing through one or two right now? I couldn't remember. Um, Space Woman, you could probably pick English names from a dartboard and 25% chance that it's a bit it's a Bible name somewhere. <laughs> yes. Just from just from history's sake, Space Point. Agreed. Yeah, I have her with the Bell of Shame with Diluc. Oh, not the Bell of Shame, the Claymore that nobody uses. Yeah. I'm super attached to Asian names because they're so cute. Yeah, do it, Ange. I'm I'm excited to I'm excited to hear what you got. I am the Pyro Whisper. I mean, I I I'm glad to closer, but yeah, you can have both my you can have both my D Luke and my Dia that are just sitting at level zero right now. Unfortunately, I I y'all I wish it was different. I wish it was different, but I just I can't I can't get past it. Wee 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 wee. wee. Um, can you tell which which one of us is the Hikaru? <laughs> Hikaru? <laughs> Who are you? Um, block, I'm playing through one. Okay. Got a bit through a while back and decided to restart it since I want to try and play and get back into playing JRPGs in general. Yeah, I think I remember this conversation. I think I remember this conversation y'all were having in uh, Finn's chat that one time. Talking about how JRPGs... Octopath specifically is one of those things where you get start, you you try and come back to it after a while and you're like where the heck was I? <laughs> Cuz JRPGs are just so involved, right? It, sometimes it's easier just to kind of start with a clean slate, go back to square one and be like, "All right, fresh fresh start. Remember the story." <laughs> so, yes, I understand that. I am the storm that approaches. Hello, Jess. There's actually some severe storms out in the Midwest right now. I hope y'all are staying safe. Uh also, hi. Yes. Um, Jenna, also friend around, where did we leave off in Tears of the Kingdom with the castle and stuff? Um, so, we finished off, Jenna, with the main castle. I actually don't quite remember what I have to do next in the, in the story part of, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Um, but I do need to do a lot of prep right now. So, you know, I kind of, like, I kind of skirted by, I kind of, I kind of scraped by the other fight. Like, you know, I was able to manage okay. Um, but obviously, like, the biggest, my biggest issue right now is that my, my armor is very, very underleveled. So, off stream, and I think maybe on stream today, I might be spending some time doing some, doing some shrines as well as trying to level up my armor a little bit. Because my armor is mega weak. <laughs> so, that's what I'm working on right now. We shall see. But that's, that's the work in progress at this stage. I will take them both in and raise them lovingly. <laughs> I'm sure you will, Gloucester. I just wish that I could... I wish I could transfer them. <laughs> wish I could send them over as gifts. <laughs> um, Blocko... Dia is amazing in terms of her personality, but her kid is just man. Yeah! I mean, she was a great part of the Sumeru story. I really enjoyed Dia being, like, you know, involved in the Archon quest, but just... She's just not there, man. She's just not there. Ooh. Oh, I still thought of Mizu, which is water. Oh, that's a that's a good one, Ange. I think it just depends on the cat. I think you just have to get a you just have to get a feeling for when you actually actually take one in. What name what name rises to the surface? What what rises from the from the from the water, you might say. Uh Waffle, have you tried content warning yet? I have not. Um I've downloaded it, I've bought it. Well I bought it, I have it for free. Um some of my other content creator friends have been playing it waffle and it seems really fun it seems really cool but i have not played it myself yet in in the works right now uh finn also i am on tv because i am lurking with you and nat oh sounds good tell nat i said hello but also yes hope she's doing good today what's she streaming finn what is nat streaming uh mixel i would love to share the share the vietnam names i know for this conversation but one i don't know how to spell them and two i don't know how i don't know what they would mean <laughs> it would be cool but i have no idea where they come from <laughs> That's okay, Mixel. I appreciate the thought. <laughs> we shall see. Ah, oh, Hannah, that's my that's your position in Octopath right now? Yeah. Super intense JRPG that's like, where the heck do I start? <laughs> where do I even begin? Yeah, I get that. Uh, Block, I played Octopath 1 right after finishing my 80-hour run of Octopath 2 and got burnt out so fast. <laughs> so now you're going back to it. You're just like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But I just can't play JRPG and watch stream at the same time because they both just demand too much attention. Yeah, they're they're really they are some hardcore focus games. 
It's kind of hard to split your attention on that. But I appreciate you hanging with us, Blocko. Putting a pause on Octopath for now. Since we're since we're chatting, too. Um, didgeridoo, forgot to say last time I played Stardew. Ripped that whole day. Oh, did you just, like, close the game? <laughs> I generally close the game after 6 a.m., like, after I start the new day. Almost exclusively. Um, Hannah, that's where Dragon Quest XI slayed. They have a recap of the last few story bits every time you load up the a, a, a file, which I super appreciate it. <laughs> a little recap every time you start. Honestly, that's pretty nice. I, I wonder if it would get repetitive after a while, but it does sound nice to have that. That's just sort of a utility, right, for the story. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Um, Finn, I can understand, especially from Octopath 1, isn't as refined as the second game, so it's almost... Would you would it almost feel like you're trudging through it a lot too? You know, like it's not just that it's a it's another Octopath game, it's an Octopath game that maybe feels a little bit slower or more clunky than the second one. For sure. Uh Archie Slee, hello. Good morning. How's it going, Archie? Do -do 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 -do. Are you gonna play Tears of the Kingdom? I will, Archie, but usually I spend the first bit of stream uh just chatting with people, so we're doing a little bit of uh doing a little bit of chat before we start. <laughs> Nat says, hello, Matt. <laughs> hello, Nat. <laughs> Our names never get confused. <laughs> I hope she's doing, I hope she's doing well. Um, she's streaming, she, oh yeah, she's streaming Bastion, Super Giant's first game. I actually, uh, I actually played Bastion. I haven't finished it. I have not finished Bastion, but I do own it, and I did play it way back in the day. Um, I, like, probably one of the first games I ever downloaded. Don't know why, and it's just so weird that it's come back full circle. I know that Jenna really likes Super Giant games, and I know that other people really like Bastion, but yeah, really fun game. I enjoy it quite a lot. Way back when, in a galaxy far, far away. Indeed, Finn! <laughs> but I'm I'm having fun now that I'm back into it. After giving a little bit of break. Honestly, that's how I felt about Tears of Kingdom too. For for sure. zip za zip za uh, Matt, I am served on the chef's specialty. Her, her, she's, her, she's. You mean the chocolate? <laughs> What's this? Maybe Kokoro if Kitty is really sweet. Oh, Kokoro would be fun. I love, I love kind of like re repeated consonant phrases. So like Kiki, Kokoro, um, Mimi, like those kinds of things are really cute. Those would be good options, Ange. Um, Waffle, you have it, but your friends won't play with you. Oh no. <laughs> Do your friends just, are your friends just not interested in scary games, Waffle? Or are they just not interested in the game itself? Because there's a difference. I mean, there were a lot of people who were kind of not really interested in Lethal Company for a long time. But honestly, like, Lethal Company is a whole lot of fun, <laughs> to be honest. But it is really, like, a fun game with friends in particular. Kokoro's heart. Oh, that's, a, that's cute. Heart's a nice name. Um, Finn, they're growing on me. Not as much as Yeehaw Man and Inquisitor Snark, but they're so special. But they're so fun, especially Tressa. I love Yeehaw Man. <laughs> Particio! <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, um, Han, in terms of Dragon Quest XI, I was always like, what are we doing? What's happening? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Honestly, the only RPG I've played as much as Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story! Oh, yeah! Unless you count, like, Dark Souls or From, so From Soft Games. I remember, I remember Inside Story. Um, I, was it, uh... Was it Inside Story? Was the the one where you were Mario and Luigi on the outside and then Baby Luigi and Baby Baby Mario on the inside or something like that? Was that is that the one I'm thinking of? Man, I like that game, and it is that is also kind of like a turn a turn based game too, which was always kind of fun. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, yeah, Octopath One just isn't as refined. Had an absolute blast with the combat. It did start getting a bit repetitive after like 80 hours. <laughs> and especially if you were like focused on grinding too, it's like, oh crap. <laughs> I'm trying to grind through this, but also, yeah, it's hard. Uh, that's why I kind of had to take a break. I had to take a break from Tears of the Kingdom, um, just to between my Breath of the Wild playthrough, and I suppose even a break from Splatoon. I've had I've had burnout breaks you know, for a while for games. That's just how it happens sometimes. Um, Hannah, Dragon Quest XI updates you almost every time you progress. Uh, the story was ever a little bit, so I never really found it repetitive. It was also like three button clicks to skip it, so more of a convenience than a nuisance because you just you could just blip through if you needed to. Also, Zuko is crying at the door. He misses my parents. Aww. <laughs> and, your, and your mom says like, does Zuko remember me? Oh yeah, he does. Aw, poor Zuko. I felt, you know... Finn, I feel like it's so interesting that Zuko, like, specifically, I wonder, can I just, can I just do a little thought experiment? 
I wonder where Zuko would would go in your house if he was allowed downstairs, right? Because like obviously he misses your parents, obviously like he misses seeing them. So like what would he do if he was given free reign for the whole house? Like would he go visit your would he go visit your mom? Would he go like you know wander around? Would he hang out upstairs so that he can be in the window or like where would he go? I don't know. Just a little just a little thought experiment. And like how that would how that also would would play with your parents too. <laughs> um, so many games to play yet no motivation. I am sad. <laughs> so many games to play but so little time to do them all is my main problem, Anna. Honestly, speaking of that, I should uh, I should at least open the game because <laughs> otherwise <laughs> otherwise we don't want to have the yapping <laughs> take over like all my time. Yeah. So excited to replay Xenoblade 3 again. Whenever Matt gets around to it, we'll get there, Blocko, soon enough. And I'm and I'm so happy that y'all can find enjoyment in replaying it again with my playthrough. I honestly like I'm very I'm touched that y'all be like, oh my gosh, like I wanna join I wanna join Matt on this adventure. But also it's encouraging that like y'all enjoy this game so much that you're at the level of saying, like, I'm willing to replay this um, in the midst of uh in the midst of me playing it too. It'll be fun. It'll be really exciting. Inside Story is when Bowser swallows them, I think. Is that the one with Baby Mario? Or, no, I think I'm thinking about Partners in Time. Is Partners in Time a Mario and Luigi game? Is it, I, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I think I'm thinking of Partners in Time. That's the one that I really enjoyed. I know, I, I did not play Inside Story, but Partners in Time was a lot of fun. It's the second one. I'm trying to brainwash this man. Whispers Ace Attorney. You need to find discreet ways. <laughs> Attorney Ace. <laughs> random, random things, Ange. Oh, no. What are we going to do? What the heck? What is this? That's weird. Hmm. Ace Attorney arc? Maybe. I'm sure Ange will be very excited about this. Le bonk. So what's the plan for today? More story or are we grinding out some gear updates? Um I don't know actually let me let me look to confirm. Um Apparently I still need to Alright, so should I talk with Pura today? Should I do that? Demon King isn't fully regenerated, so there may still be time. Return to lookout landing and talk with Pura. Um the, uh, so as far as the story content today, Blocko, good question. Um, obviously last stream, if you weren't here, if you didn't, if, if some of y'all didn't see this, um, I went to the, I went to Hyrule Castle, I faced off against kind of a, a Ganondorf sort of like phantom ghost, ghost team, and, uh, defeated them, but also, but also they were pretty tough, and one of the critical weaknesses I'm having right now is that my armor is very weak. So I think today I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and focus on leveling up my armor, um, maybe just building out some better gear in general, and then also um, working on just like upgrading stuff and just kind of exploring. I don't think I'm particularly ready to like finish this out. So, oh, interesting. Um, I think the other the other question that I might have is um, this seems like such a big thing. <laughs> Alright, hope this is right. Um, the other question that I have is, do y'all, for those who know the story... <laughs> there we go. Donk! Um, for those who know the story, am I, like, at the stage where it's only going to be one or two streams left of, of, the, of, this, of this game? Or, like, how much left do I have to do? Because we might be at the stage where it's, like, almost done. But it just depends. Hmm, this is odd. Maybe like three streams. Depends on how fast you are. I mean, y'all y'all know me. <laughs> Chris Friend says longer, trust me. Big big hammer. Amori is on the list, maybe mayhaps I can bump it up a bit. Mm, maybe. What on earth? This seems so... Oh no, it's too... Ah! It's... It's too heavy. 
It it said no. <laughs> you cannot do this. Mm-hmm. Blocker gonna change my game to a Mori. <laughs> yeah. Been saving up for this one. Can I just do this? Huh. Oh, interesting. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe three streams? Okay. Yeah, there's still more story stuff to do. Okay, well, we shall see. Current update, friends. Oh, no! I'll keep you guys posted. Jenny! <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm glad that you... Well, as scary as that sounds, Jenny, I'm glad that you decided to, like, you know, catch it now, right? So I hope that I hope that your nose remains okay. Wow, talk about physics. Um, but yeah, please keep us updated. Um, I wonder if you need sort of like a clotting agent, or at least like just make sure that you stay hydrated, Jenny, because with that amount of blood loss, it sounds like just remember to drink some water. Yeah, remember to eat stuff with iron in it. That's right. Don't eat pure iron, but eat iron. <laughs> Ange, Ange being the chemistry person. Ange consumes raw metal all the time. Just kidding, JK. <laughs> Consume that FE. FE2. Yeah, exactly. Honestly, like one of my favorites one of my favorite sources of iron, by the way, is fortified cereal. Um if you if you guys like uh mini wheats, particularly blueberry mini wheats is my favorite flavor, but mini wheats have a lot of fortified iron in them. So if you can't immediately get like spinach or like other deep greens that have iron, you can always get fortified cereal like uh, like mini wheats, and those are so great to snack on, and they have a lot of iron in them. I was I was anemic for a long time, just meaning I, I just didn't have enough iron in my diet. So fortified cereal was a really really nice way to do that. In fact, since we're talking about, it, I might go grab some, just for like a little snack. I don't know, we'll see. Also, uh, fun fact, um, apparent I've been I've been reading a lot of like diet and nutrition stuff um, lately. Did you know that you can reduce the amount of of blood sugar your body uh, sp gets spiked with from like carbs and pasta and sweets if you if you eat something vinegary beforehand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently. Apparently, vinegar, so anything like pickled, essentially, eating something vinegary like pickles, vinegar will um, wipe out or downregulate or remove a chemical compound called alpha amylase. Alpha amylase is something that your body produces, and it basically triggers your body to metabolize that glucose and like bring it into the bloodstream. So alpha amylase just sits in your gut, your, your intestines for receiving receiving glucose. But because vinegar down regulates that, it removes it. Then if you are taking in something like, like a pickle or, or something vinegary, before you eat, eat like sugar or carbs or pastas or whatever, by reducing that, that presence of alpha amylase in your gut, you are then removing the amount of, of glucose that gets triggered essentially to be then, be then brought into your bloodstream. So yeah, like it, it seems it makes sense like if you have less of that chemical it triggers less glucose uptake uptake so you don't get as high of a of, of a glucose spike in your blood sugar i don't know it seems cool seems fun uh, i mean i like pickled stuff so that's very natural for me but um yeah i thought that was fun science that i had not really known about before so honestly kind of cool Da, 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 da. Guess I gotta finish Octopath soon so I get to Amori. <laughs> it's the order of operations. <laughs> yes. Um, ba, 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 ba. Ange, keep me accountable for this. When Finn and Matt finish Amori and Ace Attorney respectively, I will stream on Twitch, Twitch for y'all. Me playing Xenoblade. I think that's a deal, Ange. I think that's a deal. I think you would just you would enjoy the characters in Xenoblade so much. If you haven't seen a lot of them already, to be honest, DBH. Deal, yeehaw! Let's do it. Yeah, 
You know what's scarier than Dead Space? Having 19 inch hours in Elden Ring and losing it all because you failed to back up your Steam Cloud? Uh, is that your experience, Jess? <laughs> Surely not. Um, also, do I gotta- do I gotta bring the singer people to this... Is this the next person in order? She's gonna tell me that- she's gonna tell me that she needs the singers. Are the singers over here somewhere, I think? I think they're down here. Yes. Yes, 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 they are. Alright, so who's- what drummer man- what drummer man do we need down here? Where is he? Is this the right place? This is not the right place. I need to go... Where's the other one? This one. Yes. This must be the one. I sent Jens a screenshot of someone's Elden Ring 1900 hours. I mean, I believe it. There are some people that spend, like... I mean, I have... I had about... I had more than that hours in, in Splatoon 2. Um... Is this the right place? This is Twin Peaks. I don't think this is right. I'll find out in a second. It had a Steam Cloud conflict. Oh no! So did it get? Did progress get erased? Is this the shrine? No, this is. This is the right one. Okay. Please hold. Where's the? Uh... Yeah, this is Twin Peaks, but it's the right one. Good. Don't make me think about that. I did so much grinding for to get every armor set. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is there a way to? Is the Steam Cloud conflict just because, like, Steam Cloud doesn't agree with what files you have and then resets things? Ba -ba -da -ba -da. I hate the Great Fairies in this game. You mean because of, like, the quest that you have to do, Blocko, specifically? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. I gotta talk with... Yeah, I gotta go to Kakariko Village, I think. Yes, I know. The Great Fairy hasn't emerged, but they need... They need Beat's drum. Oh, Beats just isn't here. Beats, one day we haven't seen him. Maybe Kakariko Village. All right, fine. I'm on my way. It's very anti-open world. It's just really unintuitive. All right, can I go over there? Where is where is the village? Up through Dueling Peaks, something something yada yada. Where is where is the village? I thought it was like over here to the left somewhere. Is it not marked on the map? <laughs> oh no! It's it's Dia's Lake. <laughs> it's Dia's Lake. She's returned. <laughs> oh no. Um, where's the village? Pacos Woods. Isn't there a isn't there an icon for that somewhere? Is it is it here? Surely not. No, it's a cave. Is it here? Nope, that's a cave too. Where is this village? Hateno. Is it because I haven't discovered it yet? Surely. Lorin, Lorin village. Where's... Where's Kakariko? Hmm. Odd. Thing with the the great fairies that you need to do the stable quests, yeah, like these ones that I'm doing right now, right now, right now. That's what I've been doing. Where's where's the village? It's north of where I am. Nairu, Zora's domain. Surely, no, it's not Goron City. Where is this place? I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go look for it. Bam. Ghost, you're getting flashbacks to Sims 3 holding my OneDrive file away from me, and it deleted a lot of my stuff. It took me a whole night to make the computer talk to the program again. In OneDrive? What was it doing in OneDrive with your stuff? That's weird. Just north, like a tiny bit. I think it's because I haven't discovered it yet. So I'll go discover it real fast. Is that... Is that... That's the waterfall, right? I didn't... That just looked like such a weird texture anomaly. I didn't think the waterfall looked that blocky, but maybe it is. I guess it is a wall. Don't know. Weep, 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 weep. Matt and Finn will have to play another game to make up for it. Mmm. <laughs> what other what other game? <laughs> what other games on the list, Ange? We must pay for pay for with our time. Did Kakariko Village get sent into the sky? I don't know. All right, so. Yada yada. It's just north. 
Am I going the right way? <laughs> Maybe it got sent into the sky. No, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think the water was rendered. It's still kind of goofy to me. So there's Twin Peaks. I thought the village was like... Is that it? Surely not. It was all destroyed. Kink! Hello! You're back from Tears of the Kingdom. Your own King Tears of the Kingdom stream. Hello, people! It's in the middle of those mountains? Is it? Is that it? I guess it is. Is that it? Huh. Who would have thought? Well, I, cer certainly not me. Why does it look... Does it... Is it destroyed? Is it leveled? Oh, no. Oh, no. It doesn't look good from up here, Chief. Am I just... Is it just the render distance? Oh. Is it? Surely not. Find out. Thanks, everyone, for joining on the raid. Hello, Kink. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. Yes, we just beat the game. Oh, nice. Three hearts, no armor, no fairies. Ayo. Congratulations. I'm certainly not uh, I'm certainly not that sage myself. I'm, uh, I'm actually just visiting Kakariko Village now, to be fair. But hello, all. Hi, Dambom. Welcome, too. I know you're not part of the raid, but hi, Dambom. Oh, what up? Okay, nope. This is def... Wow! Who would have Who would have thunk? This is just chilling in here. Wowzers. All right, I'm going to do this shrine real quick, because it's here. Makasura. Sweet. Hello, Tiger. Good morning. Hello, peeps. I'll just stop and drop a like. It's getting late. No problem, Tiger. Thank you for, thank you for popping in. Speaking of that, I need to... Uh, I need to turn on my fan because it's a little warm in here. How goes the tears of the kingdoming tonight? Um, it was good. We uh we were chatting for a little bit. We kind of just started jumping in right now. Um, and I I defeated Ganon's phantom hands uh last stream kink. So I'm kind of at this little middling stage where. I I will be progressing, but I need to do a lot of shrines and do some more shrines, get some upgraded armor. Um, I realized that your run was a three heart, a three heart no damage run essentially, uh, but I am not as skilled <laughs> in Tears of the Kingdom, so I need to spend some time uh, getting some new armor and new bits before I continue, so we're doing okay. Hello Tara as well, welcome too. But um, what's your what's your goal now that you finished uh, three the three heart tears of the kingdom run, Kink? What's next? Do, 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 do. What is this? Have I seen this before? What is this guy? Who are you? Huh? What do you do? Whoa! Dang! What? Weevils wallow, but they don't fall down. That's freaky, but also cool. But also, wow, what? So what do you do then? They stay upright, yeah? Interesting. Cool. I personally didn't like this part because I found it cryptic. Good luck, Matt. Oh, uh, you found what part crypt cryptic, Jess? Weep. This part of the this part of like the story. Not to put a damper on things, but I hope you have an easier time here, Matt. I did have to look up a guide. Uh, you mean just for like Kakariko in general, or like this stage of the story per se? Nah, it should be okay. That's kind of that's also part of why I stream this with y'all because I enjoy the process of like, you know, y'all helping me too because that's kind of like a participation thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Definitely not doing no damage, but I'm very practiced in the combat system of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, 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 for sure. Kakariko has a weird a weird quest attached to it. Okay, so Jess, are you speaking about Kakariko specifically? Possibly, maybe. This is such a weird thing. Huh. Do I have to launch the... Is this giving me a blueprint for launching the ball later? Must be. But can I reach these things? I can't reach these things. So if I can't reach them, then... Oh, I guess I could just do this, of course. 
Makes sense. Make a little make a little scoop cannon. That'd be fun. Uh, the next full series that we're gonna do is Undertale! Oh, cool! Should be fun since I love doing the VA work. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Undertale. Undertale is a lot of fun. Um, another game that's kind of on my on my backlog, per se. Not a super high priority for myself, but still a really good one, too. That'll be fun. So are you going to do that on Tuesday nights, Kink? Or is your schedule kind of just whatever you have time for, essentially? Yeet! Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice throw. We did it. <laughs> Tears of Kingdom is just Breath of the Wild, but better. In a variety of ways. And it's it's really nice if you enjoyed the, the Breath of the Wild formula. Haley, it, it does work really well, which I appreciate a lot. You're absolutely right. Uh, interesting. So can I, can I eat myself with this? Is that, is this, is this a, is this a eatable moment? Maybe? Or can I, can I give myself more, can I give myself more velocity if I, is this detachable? Do these not, do these not detach? No. Okay, never mind. I was gonna put the uh, I was gonna put the little scoop on the bigger, the longer piece for more leverage, but apparently that's not a thing. Okay, sounds good. All right, fire away. They said. We. Oh, that's <laughs> that is not enough height. <laughs> who who said that that was enough height? Surely not me. Ah! <laughs> is this the Yeet Master three thousand? Apparently not. Not strong enough. All right. I guess we could, uh... I guess I could combine those factors. Depending on how strong this is, to be honest. Right mind, right mindset, different... Right mindset, different execution. Badunk. These things must be ridiculously strong. Tears of the Kingdom Super Glow is ridiculous. We need that in our society. <laughs> Big bit of super glue. Alright, there we go. La bonk! <laughs> Better than Gorilla Glue! <laughs> Gorilla Glue! <laughs> Godzilla Glue. Behold! <laughs> the power of Flex Goop. Alright. I should just be able to activate this, right? There we go. Whoa! There we go. There's some height. <laughs> Should've known that the first time. Huzzah! We did it. Cool. I enjoyed Breath of the Wild more. The game's content was more impactful. The depths in the sky are kind of like just all on nothing. It seems like it, like a copy-cut paste above and below, and that's about it. I can understand that. But I appreciate that they're like, they're entirely different feels, though. Lee! Neat. If Link sold the stuff, he would have to he would make more money than Zelda. <laughs> He'd make his own profit using all of these constructs, right? All these constructs. Even better than crazy glue. Craggle! Hello, DJ Rolu. <laughs> hey man. Wee wee wee. It, is this Yeet Master? Oh my gosh, the Minecraft TNT cannon. What a what a crazy invention that was back in the day. I did appreciate I did appreciate a lot of Minecraft physics. It was fun. Azure Dreamer was hard. I just do two hours a night every night with a break in between games. Oh, okay, cool. That's fair, Kink. That should be fun. All right, so let's, uh, shall we figure out what's going on here? Um, do I need to do the Kakariko Village quest? Uh, or can I find Beats the Drummer and just kind of take him back for my purposes for the Great Fairy? Not that I don't want to help out Kakariko Village or anything like that. Lady Paya. What's going on with Lady Paya? What's going on over here? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That's disappointing. Hello, friends. What's going on? Yeah. The ring ruins are most intriguing. Especially this one, the way it floats up there. Oh, it is floating. 
The drummer isn't at Kakariko, I, I don't think. I believe. No one helps to. No one wants to help Kakariko. Poor guys. <laughs> I impressed, impressed Chief Paya. Oh, I am no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. Is that Pura? I'm really a chief in name only, since I am still a great chief. Wait, is Paya the is Paya the girl that was guarding the front door in Breath of the Wild, and she was like super shy and all that such? And now is she chief of Kakarika Village when Pura left? Is that is that this timeline that I'm picking up on? Is oh, is that you, Master Link? Uh, hmm. Maybe. I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Chief of Kakariga Village. I think that might be the case now. Hmm. Mm. Impa, not Pura, but yes. Okay, yes, got it. I forgot to talk to her in my no armor run. Rip me! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> oh no. Zelda who appeared after the upheaval is an imposter born of the Demon King? And the real Princess Zelda is still missing? Are you serious? It's certainly hard to believe. Yet I find it impossible that you that you would make up such a thing. Hmm. Come to think of it, the Princess Zelda who came to Kakariga Village... Oh no, did she bamboozle us over here? She ordered us not to let anyone go near that floating ring ruin, no matter what. Ta! Ta! Tack with that. She left as soon as, as she arrived. I wasn't about to... I wasn't about to ask her anything about the unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin looks like it could come crashing down at any moment. That's why Pia said... Pia said, I suspect. Oh, my apologies. I was so pleased. I completely forgot common courtesy. Please now introduce Mr. Taro. <laughs> Totoro! <laughs> An esteemed member of Zonai Survey Team. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell in our village. He's incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai script. He's a truly talented individual. With his wavy hair. It is clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab was, with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contained rather interesting content, including the mention of sages. There's still so much that we don't understand. Mm. Uh, the drummer is on the cliff outside of Kakariko? Oh, okay. Before you found Hestu in Breath of the Wild? Ah, oh, I see. Okay. I know where that is. Thanks, Finn. Instead of me, instead of me journeying around and traveling, is that a little magnifying glass in his hand? <laughs> I love his. I love his, such a such a built strong guy with this teeny little magnifying glass. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh yes, I must. I must investigate. I must investigate this further. Hmm. I wonder what's inside this village ring. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, that's funny. They won't let you into Gerudo Town without clothes. Even in Tears of the Kingdom? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Excuse me. You must be dressed. <laughs> Sidon helps you in the volcano. Why not? That's so funny. Isn't that come crashing down? I don't know. We'll find out, DJ. Who knows? The Craggle from the Lego movie? That's what I was thinking, <laughs> Haley. <laughs> and also, and also DJ. If the princess was an imposter, an imposter! <laughs> princess Zelda's imposter, the Demon King's underlying Demon King? <laughs> Secret stones? <laughs> Forbade anyone from investigating the floating ring ruin. That must mean that doing so would, would pose a threat to the Demon King. Uh... If that's the case, we must survey this floating ring as soon as possible. See? He, he's got it. He's locked in. He knows. Right you are, Mr. Taro. There is no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open the floating ring ruin at once. Knowledge is tugging on the line! Time to reel in some results. <laughs> Your lure and phrasing is coming through, Mr. Toro. You must really be pleased. It's just, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Hmm. It's clear the interior of this ring is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem any entrance. Don't worry, I'll get up there eventually. There should be a stone slab inscribed with Zonai script. First, we should look at a way to confirm that the stone slab is inside. However, we also don't want to damage the precious ruins. Interesting. Okay, well, I know where to do that. But uh, also, I know where my... I know where my... Where I'm needed at this stage. Everyone's going to stare up at the ruins. All right, y'all. Am I finished? Good. All right. Farewell. Enjoy your rings. <laughs> rings of power! <laughs> One ring to rule them all. In Breath of the Wild, every few nights, visit Pi at her diary and read her crush on Link. You say every few nights, Haley. In Breath of the Wild, was that a thing? 
I'm gonna switch my weapon. Something different. Not the gloom weapons. Not the gloom weapons. The ten rings through them all. Why do you have a magnifying glass next to you? Why not have a magnifying glass next to you? <laughs> Does this person have a magnifying glass? No. Are, do they? What are they doing? They look like they've got a... They look like they've got a migraine. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Well, y'all y'all, y'all do that. Have fun. Man alive. Woo! Woo! Brr! Secret stones? Demon King? All right. Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help, Finn, because otherwise I would have been... I would have been I would have been wandering around Kakarika Village for an eternity trying to find trying to find this dang drummer boy. Oh little man to the mighty king. Do you see what I see? No, I don't, actually. What's your favorite weapon in the game so far? Um actually, one of my favorite weapons is one that I made. Uh I love the cannon spear kink so much. I just love being able to, you know. Oh, hey, just in time. <laughs> it's so great. It's so nice. I don't have to waste, uh... <laughs> I don't have to waste, uh... You know... I don't have to waste bombs, I don't have to waste explosives. Yeah, Cannon Spear is hands down my favorite. It's just nice for, for explo explosive damage and utility. It's really nice. I, I think that's one of my favorites. Um, good question. Uh, I also... Oh, actually, one of my other favorites is, um... <laughs> this is just a meme. I made I made this weapon. It's called a bookcase bat, apparently. This... This is a bookcase from the castle. You know where you can, like, pull the bookcases out of the wall? Well, because they're movable objects, you can attach them to weapons. So I have bookcase bat. <laughs> you can hit him with knowledge. <laughs> And, uh, so that's just, like, one of my favorite meme weapons, just chilling around. Um, I've got Fan Guster for, you know, blowing people away with my masterful swords work. And, uh, a couple of other ones, but... No, I like, I like Cannon. It's one of my favorites. The power of knowledge! <laughs> yes. I permanently borrowed the bookcase, exactly. Is that the dragon theme? What is the dragon theme? Hello, dragon. Too bad I can't get up there. Oh, well. Oh, hello! You have my support! It's Addison! Shall I help? Shall I help this poor man? Hmm? Huh? What happened? The dragon is going down! Does that mean that he's going toward the, uh... Does that mean that he's going toward the, um... This thing? This guy? Going down into the abyss? I, uh... I suppose I could chase after him, but... I don't know that I would get there in time, to be honest. Not from here, at least. It is kind of nice that they featured that, though. That is fun. When I say featured, featured, meaning the concept of, like, hey, you don't have to go, like, chasing the chasing them in the sky anymore. They're just kind of there. We, fin we finished all the memories, right? Yes. All the memories are finished. All the, uh... Not all the main stuff is finished yet, but that's kind of what I'm working on now. Oh. <laughs> Oops. For sure you can get there in time. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I don't I don't want to chase after it. I I'll keep it in mind though. If I, if I hear slash see that in the future, for sure. Let's put this here. Man, people really don't like, people really don't like when you do that, do they? Uh, this looks kind of funky. How does it... It's gonna fall over this way, isn't it? Oh, I see, there's literally... There's literally, like, a place to slot in a beam. How convenient. Oh. OK. 
Can I be that? Can I be that particular with it? Good. Could try. Update, friends. Hello, Janae. I'm back home. Hooray! Do I have my Do I have my button? I think so. Welcome back home. I'm sure that your roommate is glad to see you. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> uh, can I just do this? Yeah, I'll just do that. See how that works. Hope this works. I don't know. Physics is weird sometimes. Try letting go. Hopefully. Ayo! Sick. Cool. He's standing! <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> How is he standing? <laughs> Zach, hello! I'm here. I forgot to say King Crate earlier. It's okay. Hello, Zink. Zink. Zach, welcome back from uh, yesterday. I think I combined I combined Zach and Kink and made Zink. <laughs> Sorry, my words. Hello, Cole. Good morning, too. How are you doing? Welcome to Strem. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but books will kill me as well. <laughs> books are just as hurtful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One way to throw a book at someone. <laughs> Have knowledge. Hooray! Oh, ooh, 20 rupees. Gracias. My nosebleed is gone. It was just... It was all the dry air and I need to drink some water. Yeah, water's good. Um, I should also go refill... I should also take a hydration break. Sleepover ticket? A lodging voucher for regular stable bed. A reward for collecting pony points. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from a fatigue of travel. Interesting. A sleepover ticket, you say? Hmm. And with that, I'm off. Hmm. Is that a drum? No, it's not. I know not what you speak of. I kind of wish that there was, um... I kind of wish that there were, like, shields that had better durability for, uh... Like, shield surfing. I would enjoy that quite a lot, honestly. Hello, bird. Zroom. Is he up here? This is this is where I found Hestu, right? Is he here somewhere? I heard the drum. Where is it? Ah, uh, what's this? Beats, what you doing, dude? What what are you what are you camping out here for? Oh my god, Beats, you better get over here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wake up, Beats! Come on, what are you doing? Whoa! Hey, don't interrupt, I'm busy calling bees with my beat. What? Bees? Jenna, are you here? Jenna! <laughs> Come on, don't look at me like that! Is he shaking? Is he... Why is he... Vi Why is he vibrating? He's so angry, he's like fuming. <laughs> what is he is literally dude. He is like shaking with wrath. <laughs> oh, he's a drum alright. He's operating at 60 beats per second. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know you can fuse a cart or a sled to a shield and get like massive speed while surfing. Oh, that's fun! You can make a skateboard? I'd, I'll have to try that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the musical troupe as it play has been a little down. I figured I'd make some honey creeps. Honey crepes. Honey crepes that should cheer our maestro? Maestro? Was maestro copyrighted? Could you not just add an E there? Maestro? I can't get my hands on any coarse or bee honey. Bro is about to have steam coming out of his ears. It feels like that, Haley. That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with my beat. All I need are three combs of honey. Someone said there are beehives near Kakariga Village, near that huge hole. But that hole's pretty scary, no way I'm going near there. Honey, be mine. Surely. Wait a second, what's that smell? Something sweet? <laughs> he really went... <laughs> he sniffed. <laughs> Here, have some honey. Good, I didn't even need to check. Alright. My beat didn't reach the bees, but I guess I got you moving. With these, I can whip up a honey crepe with a conductor. Here's a little something to help me, it's all yours. Oh my gosh, that's, oh my gosh. 100 rupees. Nice. Uh, yes, the roommate was happy to see me back. SMH. My human roommate was concerned for me, but I'm better. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I love drums. Then what am I doing here? I need to bring back my rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I, if I hit up every single stable, then I'll run to them sooner or later. Just go to the nearest one. All right, bye. Thanks. 
I accidentally sent Jenna to Night Stream because of Bastion. No, it's okay. Oh my gosh, he really packed up and left. He really, he, he really packed up and said yeet. Crazy. He was a skater boy. She said she layer boy. <laughs> Anyone else not song? Yes, I do. <laughs> skater boy. <laughs> what a great reference, Zach. She said, "See you later, boy." I don't know what the I don't know what the phrasing is or the the order, but do I have four wheels here? Can I make Can I make a little skateboard doohickey if I wanted to? Let's try it. -da -da -do 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 -do. I gotta go. Take care, Haley. Thanks for coming in on the raid. Appreciate you hanging with us. Wee. So, do I need to fuse them together? Do I need to fuse it together, or do I need to, um... Hmm. <laughs> this is dangerous. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that'll, that'll roll real well. <laughs> there we go. So can I just, like, fuse this whole thing? Surely not. No, because it needs individual items, right? So, do I need to, like, I don't know. Can I just drop this, then? My bookcase shield. Ha! <laughs> My bookcase shield returns. <laughs> so, can I just take this and then, like, I don't know, grab this? Just do one of these guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boo. <laughs> the card they mean. Oh, the Zonai card. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all see where my brain was going? Y'all, y'all see. <laughs> y'all see where my brain was? Oh my gosh. No, no, you're absolutely right. I don't know if I have any of those, actually. I think I have sleds. I don't think I have any carts with me. I think I used those up. Dang, brother. Oh, that been that's so funny. That is so funny. Yeah, I don't have any of those, unfortunately. I got rockets. <laughs> got some rockets. I mean I could put a sled down, but the sled I feel like the sled does not um I feel oh my gosh, that's a huge sled. I'll try it. We'll we'll see if it works. Shield slide. Slide would be, well, for durability, wheels are definitely best. Yeah, exactly. Let's see how this works. Okay, that works. That works all right. I don't mind. Ooh. I just wish that you could do the little, um, I wish you could do the little shield, uh, spinny thingy when you used to jump. Like, now it just, like, stops, right? Whoosh. I don't know. Is this more of, like, a snow thing? I don't know. There is no place like home for the herbs. Herbs. Boo! Hello, Summer! Welcome back home! Did you, uh... I'm assuming you're back home safely from your trip? How's it going? Yeah, it's more of a snow and a sand thing with that. Yeah, a cart would have been better, but I... Alas! <laughs> I can't believe I made a four-wheeled cart. <laughs> Y'all were like, alright. <laughs> we'll let Matt cook until he finds out what he just did wrong. <laughs> That's hilarious. Cole, this guy reminds me of Guru Guru from Majora's Mask. Guru Man! Excuse me, sir. Why are you... Why are you making honey crepes out in the wilderness? Avril is one of my favorite artists, so I had to, I had to do it. <laughs> I had to do it to him. He wasn't good enough. She had a pretty face, but her head was up in space. She needed to come back down to Earth. I don't, I don't know how the song goes after that. I remember the Skater Boy part. No, I didn't sing that at karaoke. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? It's a fun theme, though. It's a fun tune. Back home, sadly. I've been playing Minecraft with my boyfriend. Oh, that's cool. Do y'all own, like, a little a little world that you play together? Or do you guys play on the same server, Summer? That's fun. Remember good old good old Minecraft days? I was having a good, chi good time watching. It's having a good time watching Matt just go to his devices, literally. Watch out, dog. 
Oh, German man is back. All right, Mastro Maestro. The man of the hour. Look at this, or rather listen. It's Beats, our stalwart drummer has returned. A sorry troop leader I am, making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. But in the beating heart of the stable trotters pulses once more. Three cheers for our own Beats. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face. No doubt shares my concern for the Great Fairy. Ah, oh, I must be mistaken. I merely assumed as much as the Great Fairy of Cotera is much a notable attraction to the Dueling Pig Stable. <laughs> yes, it's all about the Great... Can we go there? Alas! She has brought a merge from her Great Fairy Bud. She used to listen to Beat's drum so fondly. Hearing his lively beat should be just think cheer up, but alas, our cart is broken. How are horses supposed to cross? Don't worry. Yo! If the bridge is no good, how about we cross the river? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah. That's right! We can cross the river! To the river, everyone! All together now! <laughs> My yeah, goodness. Yeah, yeah! yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the Great Fairy will give, give you her blessing when she wakes up. Oh my goodness. I feel like you're channeling Willard, Willard, Willard with that voice? Am I? Am I channeling Willard? I don't know. I didn't feel too much Willard energy there, but... I could get on board with it. Oh my gosh, your poor cart. Your poor cart with no wheels. What a travesty this is. Also, are we supposed to, like, move this rock or something? What on earth? Danger! Severe damage has made this especially for horses. Hey, it's for horses! <laughs> There's a thing over here. Man, who crashed this? Is it the Bokoblins? That's such a Willard voice, is it? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, um... Do, 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 do. Now it's stuck in my head, effectively. Oh, hey, there's a fish here. Hello, fish. You're mine now. Oh, stamina bass. Ooh. Stamina bass, you say? Can I, um... Can I make them a, uh... Can I take some of these items here? Quit it! Excuse me, people. Can I make a boat out of this stuff? Just a little... Just a little damage. Just a little damage. You may have to find them a way to cross the river. They, they do not like me. They do not like me using these things. Wink, wink, wink. I'm about to I'm about to fly them across for real. Hello, sail, sail on, sail on, great ship, Titanic. What are you doing? <laughs> Please don't do anything strange like that to our dear Breezer. Okay, well, Timber, bombs away. Your fault. <laughs> did they not like? Did they not like me adding adding my additions? Well, then what am I supposed to do? Y'all, y'all goofy. Y'all goofy. Just a little damage. Shall I repair your, your little cart? No. Where? What are you doing? Please don't do anything strange that door. Alright, fine. Okay. Huh? I'm about to I'm about to pick this whole thing up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Did you talk to him? No. Why would I talk to him? The bridge is bust! But I thought it might be so hard to cross the river. I see now that I was mistaken. Even if we took off our breezer's wheels and floated it, the current would just run our planet ground. Oh. The Great Fairy. I know what that is. It's over there! <laughs> yes, of course. Beats drum. Just beat the drum from here. Water water travels over sound. Our breezer is built for traveling roads. If we tried to ford it, we'd all sink before we reached the river side. Alright, cool. So, if I'm... I'm about to I'm about to build them a plane for real. If you cook a fairy, you can get a fairy tonic. It's an elixir. Ooh, I did not know this. That might be more useful than a uh, fairy fairy. The song will now be forever stuck in your head, as all songs usually are, Kink. Honestly. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if I can't if I can't jump on your little cart thing, then uh, hmm. Do -do 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 -do. 
Got to build him a plane, for real, for real. So, can I go explore this? What does this look like over here? This is actually a pretty short, honestly. About to, about to, about to build a bridge. About to, about to just build a bridge right here. <laughs> let me, let me cook up, let me cook up something. I'll build him a bridge right here. Heck that. Y'all take a walk. Not that hard. <laughs> Kink put in his head at least one good one. Not Baby Shark or something like that. Surely not Baby Shark. Eustace. We're so close. Even a strong horse can't swim. What hope do we have? I don't know, Beats. What you got, man? You want to recruit your bees? I can play my drum, but this current won't be swayed. Hmm. Hmm. Violin? There is hiding out. Too afraid. Okay. Mr. Mastro, sir. Yes, we know. That's the problem with this game. They say solve the things with Ultra Hand. And I was like, you gotta do this like very, very specifically this time. Okay. Oh, hoo -hoo. Okay, what if? So, so did y'all, y'all broke the wheels off your cart? Can I erase? Can we send the, uh, let's send this rock back into space where it came from. Just kidding. Can I go investigate this? What's on, over? what's going on here? Oh, hello, sir. You seem like you'd... The bridge really is out. You seem like you'd like the bridge to be repaired as well. Yeah. What is it? You seem enthusiastic about something. Are you headed this way too? No. To get dueling picks, you used across this bridge. It's been destroyed. Something fell on top of it. There are disaster measures in place, but they're far from perfect. Be extra careful if you cross this bridge. Okay. Beep, beep, burp, beep, 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 beep. You have to build their cart into a boat. It's the only way. I valid and I under and I gathered that thin, but like why the the concern the issue that I'm having here is they won't let me touch this. I can't I can't attach anything. Oh wait. Now he's okay with me touching Now you're okay with me touching it? Brother man! I'm gonna wipe those cheery cheeks. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Cool. Good lord. You have to talk with him first. That's so bizarre. All right. Thanks, brother man. Now I okay. Actually, 100% made their cart into a flying machine and flew them over. That's incredible. My first, my first thought was a sailboat, so we're gonna make a sailboat. Do -do 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 -do. Don't mind me. Song am I stuck in my head. Matt, you're not you're not used to JRPGs. You gotta talk to people. No, I don't like to talk to people. <laughs> I'll do things in silence, just like just like Link. Just like the game intended. <laughs> Link is my role model. Don't speak, just act. <laughs> Actions speak louder than words. <laughs> Can I do this? Will this this will this work? I mean I'm supposing it will, but you know. Man. What are you making now? Closer. I'm making a boat. <laughs> I'm making a cruise ship, okay? <laughs> they asked for a cruise. I'm going to give them a cruise. That's lopsided. I no. Unacceptable. Look, it's a little swamp, little swamp boat. Concerned, TM. Do not be concerned, TM. Everything is just fine. Everything is perfect, just as should be. Yeah. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Little propeller there. You know what? Just for the just for the memes, just for the funnies, just for the funnies. I kind of want to add some wings to the top of this and see what happens. Do I do I get some lift with this? I would love to see it. I would love to see some lift enacted upon this. I truly do want to make it a flying contraption. What's the best way to do that? Plop it right there, man. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. Concern TM. <laughs> lopsided? What do you mean lopsided? This is totally safe. This is totally safe. Totally fine. <laughs> totally fine. There's my concern. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Timber! <laughs> they're fine, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. They're okay. They'll be alright. <laughs> In the arms of an angel. <laughs> no wonder they didn't want you to touch their precious Beezer. I'll, I'll show them. They're not gonna get anywhere. There we go. Totally fine. Totally fine. It's perfect. It's great. Sorry, I was disappearing. I was resolving an email. Hi, Angel. Come back. Um, can I put these on now? Our precious Beezer. Who the heck names their... Who, na who the heck names their card a Beezer? Oh, dear. Pay no mind. Everything's fine. <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> Matt is making something. Dang right I am. <laughs> Freaking masterpiece over here. <laughs> Paying all mind. No. No mind paid. <laughs> it's okay. Can I make this a, uh, he's cooking? I'm cooking a boat? <laughs> yes. Y'all thought, y'all thought the cooking stream on Sunday was the end of it. You ain't seen nothing. <laughs> Mary had a little crunch. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You want, you want, you want nursery rhymes. I'll give you nursery rhymes. Oh, that ain't, that's, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Mary had a little snafu. <laughs> a little problem. A little boo-boo. That is also not... <laughs> Them wheels be looking a little goofy. <laughs> Them wheels be looking a little off. Alright, this may be a little maybe a little too hot a little too top heavy. Can't imagine. Can't imagine being a little top heavy. Uh it's fine. Just do this. <laughs> Mary had a ragdoll. <laughs> oh my goodness. Mary had some broken physics. <laughs> In a video game. It was all great. It was all fine and dandy. He's cooking with so much this stream. It's great. Alright. Those wheels do not look like they're going to work. That is like... That's like a preschooler's level of super glue. Alright, honey. Just glue it on. <laughs> it's like... A that. Did you look at that? <laughs> that is such a goop. <laughs> That's not gonna rotate. <laughs> Why is it doing that? Excuse me, sir. All right. Let's try this one more time. There we go. That looks a little bit more acceptable. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you want to jump in? Hop in. I'll take you. I haven't even tested this. Such joy, elation. <laughs> I have no... Get in before he changes his mind. Are you sure? What's this? If we can't get into Beezer... Oh, no. Why the frick? All right, you know what? To find a time to test drive. Watch- oh shoot, I'm gonna run into Mr. Man over here. <laughs> it just glances by his head! Don't worry, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Good luck, they're gonna drown. <laughs> no. No, they're not. It'll be fine. <laughs> Immediately turns over. Immediately turns over. Oh man, I was hoping. I was hoping so much. I'm really, I'm really, really, really tempted. I'm so tempted to put some rockets on this thing. I really, I really just want to put rockets on it. So badly. Alright. I, under I understand the assignment. Uh, 10 out of 10. You did, Blogo! <laughs> I want to so bad, man. So badly. All right, can I put this back here and keep it like out of their way, I suppose? They're apparently they're very finicky with stuff being in the way, so I'm just going to do this. Can 
Can I attach it to the base? Base of the boat. Uh, there we go. Cool. Oh, not the blood moon now. Too busy. Leave me alone. Just need to add a couple more. There we go. Add some rockets. Bingo. If you're not, if you're not, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what this needs. <laughs> Rocket sled! <laughs> it was definitely a safety code violation. <laughs> OSHA would not. Oh, no! Breaking down. Boxes in the back. <laughs> Sir, I look back. Buster! <laughs> Y'all, y'all said my original plan did not work. Here we are. <laughs> How much armor do you need? A lot. Hi, Aka. Okay. They're like mm, concerned. <laughs> Rocket sled. <laughs> Rocket man. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, perfect perfection. Okay, honestly, for real though. Honestly, for real. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this happen. This plan will work. This will be, this will be freaking great. Jet, jet propulsion. Everything. The problem is, is that if I, I need it, I need it to bind to the actual. Yes. I need to bind to the actual structure, because those rocket jets are gonna fall off once they're exhausted. Just a little off. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. It's balanced now. Y'all said y'all didn't like the top heaviness of the last one, so now I'm making this. Everyone's happy now. It's got proper thrust. We will reach proper takeoff velocity. It'll be fine. Everyone will be satisfied. What do you do to those <laughs> Are those rockets? Don't worry, those are defensive rockets in case we come across any Bokoblins. Don't worry, this vehicle is, is outfitted with all the proper safety measures. <laughs> This is gonna be great. This is gonna be a freaking absolute joy. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Keep your arms, hands, vehicles, and instruments inside the vehicle at all times. It'll be fine. It'll be great. All right. Time to time to save. There's no reason why I'd be saving right now. No, no concerns whatsoever. No problems. No worries. I would never actually save before doing this for any particular reason. All right. Hop in. Hop in. I'll take you. This sure is a thing you have built. Hello, Jenar. <laughs> it is <laughs> rocket boosted flight car. <laughs> they all said I needed a boat. <laughs> They're gonna be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> y'all are putting a lot of faith in. My... <laughs> y'all are putting a lot of faith in my hands. All right. Welcome to Lynx Airport Service. The only. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. I can't get it. I can't get past everyone's knees. The game's chugging. All right. Welcome, everyone. This is your flight attendant speaking. <laughs> I can't get out. I keep stuck. <laughs> Hello, friends. I've just arrived. What in the Hylian jumbo jet is that? Excuse me? Surprise! <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for choosing Link, Link West Airlines. Uh, today, I have your... I have all of your instructions for today's... For today's... For, so I can't drop... I can't drop this. Why can't I drop this? It's a meal, it's not a food. Dang it, I was gonna drop them an ice cold steak <laughs> for in-flight refreshments. For your in-flight refreshment today, I have a bunch of bananas. <laughs> what is Link North Airlines? <laughs> this needs some reviewing, sir. No, absolutely not, Gloster. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. <laughs> It'll thaw in the river, yes, exactly. See, see, Hannah understands. All right. For both in-flight refreshments and for your for your in-flight snack, we have Hylian mushrooms. Please enjoy. You may share. <laughs> There's only three. <laughs> and <laughs> as your weights person, this needs reviewing. Thank you, thank you, Glister. But but weights will not be needed. The FAA has determined that this flight is too short and does not require weights as a precautionary measurement. On we go. Three, two, one. Wow. <laughs> okay, y'all. Y'all said, y'all thought. Oi. Oh, great fairy! 
<laughs> Excuse me, Maestro Beats, we are still in flight. Please do not do please do not leave the vehicle at this time. <laughs> Places, everyone! The Great Fairy- No! Do not dismount mid-flight! That is dangerous! <laughs> Y'all! Oh. Boo. What do you mean I didn't get to land my plane? The landing was gonna be the best part. Keep arms, hands, feet, legs. Keep yourself in the vehicle at all times. Gosh dang it. Why did that work? <laughs> Why didn't it work? <laughs> that was so unnecessary. That was perfect. <laughs> you would not be a good Concorde pilot, Matt. Pure speed isn't enough. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's gonna be an ex it's gonna be an explosion on the runway. The what I'm the way I'm working at this. <laughs> oh my dear. All right. Well, we did it. Hooray! No need to apologize. We don't use our inside voices here. Yeah, especially when I'm pulling for Genshin and I get the wrong 50-50 that I did not want. Then we definitely don't use our inside voices. We, we use our upset our upset outside verses. Outside voices for that one. How did that work? Do y'all have <coughs> Do y'all have no faith in me? What do you mean, did that not work? Come on, man. Y'all's y'all's faith in Link Link Airline Enterprises is shocking. Y'all don't believe. <laughs> Thank you once again. I prepared a token of my of my thanks. 100 rupees. Hurrah. Oh my goodness. I only saw that without sense without without sound, but I could sense your anguish last night. It was it was rough TM. It was it was rough out here TM last night. I don't even want to calculate. I I don't really want to calculate the 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 cost, but it it, it cost me a lot last night. Brother uh, Darren, as it currently stands at this exact moment, the Jets currently have home ice advantage of round one in the season. Want to end, <laughs> where, where to end right now? There's like four games left still. I'm glad that the Jets are still playing, Darren's, even if you said that they were kind of trash at the end in the postseason. What did I miss? Ah, oh, Chris, you missed the best moment. You need to go back and stream for a second. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Would y'all like to take a flight back to uh, the stables? I can provide. Does my plane still exist here? Please tell me my plane, my plane still exists. Oh, yes, hello. It took me forever to get these drummers to you. Oh, my goodness gracious. Y'all people. Enhance away! Alright. Um, is there any particular armor that I should be upgrading? Should I be, should I be upgrading any particular components here? Or should I be looking for different armor sets? Like, for example, I have the Royal Guard boots. Should I look for the Royal Guard helmet or the Royal Guard tunic? Should I look for the Zonite tunic or the Zonite helmet? I don't know. I know that I'm kind of getting into, like, some some min-maxing. Like, you know, hey, like, I want this, but I don't know. All right. Thank you. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Upgrade the ones with the best defense. They're probably the most important. So, by best defense, do we mean the ones that have the highest base defense? Like, for example, these these trousers. These trousers are base level three. These are base level two, right? But these are base level four. So, would it be best to upgrade the level fours because they'll be they'll have higher overall defense at the end of the day? So my then my question then is, do I need to do I need to muck about the world and go find some level four armor for everything? Unless they have a useful combat effect like gloom resist. Oh my gosh, yeah, gloom resist would be so helpful, but I don't have any of that. Nor like defense up or attack up. I feel like I should look for more armor, but I don't know I don't know where that is or what that should be. Did they really get rid of my plane? After all that, I spent so much hard work on that plane and they just decided to remove it? How dare they? Oh, my shrooms are still here! <laughs> oh, they left my in-flight snack. Oh, how nice of them. You got tacos, Jenny! Nice! Taco truck near my house drove up empty. I ran across the street so quick. Oh, that's cool. Drove up in an empty lot. Let's go, tacos! Taco time! I would love to make my own tacos. That sounds that sounds like fun. Also, I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're back, Jenny. Glad you're, glad you're feeling okay. 
Kami, I have faith in you. What I lack, what I lack faith in, is the ability of contraption in this game to stay together. <laughs> you are not wrong, Kami. You are not wrong. Thank you for, uh, thank you for, for keeping your your trust in me, even if it's just not trust in these in these things sometimes. Did, did you visit your own house in Hateno, by the way? I did not actually. Back in the day with the sleeper done slumber in, should go visit Hateno. Why not? We. A full knight set is level four, but the best the best chess piece is hidden. I can tell you if you want. When you say it's hidden, does that mean that it's like post game necessarily, or is it just like not not immediately visible? Is there like a reliable place to find armor, or is it just literally in chests scattered throughout the world? Would you like me to help you find some armor off stream? We might do that. Maybe we can do that, Finn. Um, there's nothing post game. Okay. Uh, good old Hateno Village. Oh, they're dying. They're dying things down there. That's cool. There's a reliable way, yes, but it's a bit obtuse. Uh, expand on what you mean by obtuse. And, I mean, we could either do it off-stream or we could just do it on-stream now, because I'm not sure that there's really much else that I want to do. I could go for shrines, but the process of shrines right now would basically be... would basically be looking around at light roots and going or rummaging around with the light roots and stuff. Um, I have not been visiting all the shops necessarily. Um, Ange, can I ask you how much more progress you made in Japanese after you sent me that picture? Um, not much more after that, Ange. I I was busy. Um, I sent you that picture. Yeah, by the way, y'all, I'm trying to learn Japanese and I, I had a little bit of free time at work today. So I've been learning like the diff I've been trying to learn the different like vowels and syllables and stuff like that. So <laughs> there's there's like A E I O U and then there's and then there's consonant derivatives like um A E I O U plus consonants like K and S and stuff like that. Um so I've been trying to like come up with like little little things to help me remember the hiragana and stuff like that. Um like saw is like the saw and sauce. And it looks like a soup ladle, so sauce. Um, she is like a sheep, because there's like a shepherd's hook. Um, shepherd's hook. Uh, ke is ke is like in kelp, is like this little um, this guy right here. Hang on, let me find ke. Ke is kelp, um, so it's like this little like wheat wheat. And then I drew like little kelp. But then if you, well, I also decided that um, if you take if you take the the kelp and you actually kind of expand this little you expand this little um, symbol right here, it kind of looks like an H, which reminds me of help. So like help plus kelp makes the k in kelp. I don't know. I like the I like the idea that this kind of makes an H, which looks like help. Um, so that's how that helps me with that one. Um, this is ko like coordinates. Co coordinates, co. Um, but if, this also kind of looks like a Z in a way. So oftentimes when you when you think in Minecraft terms, Minecraft you're talking about coordinates. So I decided Z coordinates looks like a Z. It's coordinates, coordinates. I see a person punching a wall, making the K noise. Wait, K? Oh yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> punching through the wall, K for kelp. Yeah, so I've made like little I've made little things. Um, this is like a shepherd's hook. A shepherd staff for sheep. Um, I uh, I should have drawn like a little sheep. I should have drawn a little sheep just for the fun of it. Um, this one was hard. This is this is Sue, for like. It kind of looks like a swing, I guess, like hanging off the ceiling. I don't know what else to do with that one. That was kind of funky. Um, this is se, like like cell. Um, it kind of looks like these little like hooks look like fangs. So I decided like sexy snake. <laughs> or selling snakes. <laughs> so say for that one. Um, the uh, <laughs> this one is so for like soda. Um, if you kind of like take this and you make it, you make like a nose and lips and stuff. It looks like someone is sipping a soda. <laughs> so soda, <laughs> like <woo -woo. laughs> soda sip. Um, but then I also kind of used it. I used it to remember the fact that like. This is this looks like a Z and it looks like a C, which almost the side profile had me crying. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> the sign of the sip. Um, but along with soda, the Z and the C kind of reminded me of, you know, when you go to like those like store brand sodas and it's like diet Dr. K or diet Dr. Pep or, you know, whatever, like the off brand of Dr. Pepper or the off brand of diet Coke, this, this little symbol kind of reminded me of like Z cola. So I decided just to say, okay, this is like Z cola, which is the Z plus the C which is how you write this, but then that equals soda. So soda is ZC, which is so, so, so is that. Anyway, little, little things like that. And and guys, don't give me, don't give me too much credit for these little doodles and such. 99% of this were the little, were little recommendations that I picked up from a PDF uh, that recommended like, hey, this looks like kelp or stuff like that. No, but they're so cute. They are, they are pretty nice. Um, I like the coup. Uh, the coup is like cuckoo clock. Although they they said that they said that um, coup is literally just like this little greater than sign. It's this little guy like that. But but when you when you go like this, to me, if a, if a duck or if a bird is going like this, they're saying ka, not coup. Coup is like you know closed closed tone. This is open, right? So like it didn't make sense for me for the bird to be like ka. <laughs> it's coup. So I decided that this little hash actually looks like the face of a clock. So there it is in the center of the clock. <laughs> and it's a cuckoo clock, but it's in it's the little it's the little hour hand and minute hand in the face of the clock instead of like, you know, open. I mean, it's a double it's a double entendre, right? It's a double meaning. So kind of like double reinforcement. The one clue just makes me think of the meme where it's like, what do you want from the store? And then the opening theme of the Jojo, like, soda! <laughs> soda is, my, is what I want from the store. <laughs> Man. Um, oh gosh, key is, key is so perfect. I mean, how do you not, how do you not look at key and say that like, yes, that is a key. <laughs> like, obviously, those are, those are so... So clean. I love the ones that make it really easy. Um, ka is kind of hard. Like karma, ka, karma, cut. Um, it's this guy. I decided that the top left portion of that kind of looked like scissor blades. So it kind of looked like, kind of looked like this, you know? So you're, you cut with scissors. And it kind of, and, and even this like hoop has like an open handle, right? So I decided it's ka like scissors. Cut. Um, they they recommended like mosquito or something like that. I was like, don't 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 no, not mosquito. So a lot of these like I changed, I changed to my own thing. Oh, this one was this one was interesting, and I'm, I guess I'm still kind of debating on whether I like it or not. O, oh, O oh is uh, is just one of the vowels, and it's probably one of the more important ones. It's this little guy right here, which is kind of like a, it's got a little hat and then a little like down and then over to the left. It's pronounced like O, oh, you know like. Oh, but what I realized was that you know honestly, O oh, kind of looks like if you if you flipped that around, it looks like it looks like a backwards O, oh, right? Like the way that the way that the down and to the left is flipped around, it kind of looks like a flipped O. Oh. So I just decided to make this in my mind similar to O. Oh. Now it's different. Instead of O, oh, it's O, oh, but you know. Same kind of idea. the the thing The thing that they wanted to do was they they were trying to they had different suggestions for these things. They wanted to they wanted to suggest that you should look at it like this. What ha What the heck? They wanted. Why is it not? Why is it not giving me smooth lines? That's weird. They wanted to say like, oh, if you do this and then you go like this, then you can see that there's two O's. So that makes, that makes the two O's, right? Like you can kind of see the, you can kind of see the O, the O right here and the O right there. But the problem is to me, to me, that makes an OO sound and OO is very different than O, oh, right? O oh is, is a, is an open tone. OO is a soft tone. So I decided just to make, I liked the idea of this equaling more of just like an inverted, inverted O, oh, which equals like, this which equals like this if you if you if you flip it around 
So it's still it's still o oh, like the proper open o oh sound, but now, but now it looks like this instead. So it's just flipped, flipped over. There is an o oh there, but it's flipped vertically. Matt, I'm just saying, if we were ever classmates, I would have stolen your notes. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, Ange. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I have not the only. This is the only page that I've gone through thus far. So I've gotten through all the vowels, and I've gotten through um, the K consonants and the S consonants. Um, but I ran out of time. I was I had other work things I needed to attend to. Um, so tomorrow, tomorrow I'll take a uh, I'll take a work through. Um, I'll work on my other stuff like the other consonants. Honestly, I see it. I see more as O rather than Ho because the the left O shape is actually closed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hannah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you could see the this is an open shape, right? So because this because Hannah's saying that because this spot is open, it actually does. This looks more similar to O because of that open spot. You're right. I do like that. So yeah, I'll come up with either more. I'll come up with more of these little, um, these little ideas, and um, I'll share my progress with y'all. Obviously, Ange was asking me about it, but I am trying to learn some Japanese. Um, I'm learning hiragana. Um, if you don't know, there's there's three. There's hiragana, there's kanji, and there's katakana. Those are three like almost alphabets per se in J Japanese. Hiragana is probably one of the easier ones or easiest. It's very vowel based. It's very similar to um, like a. a a vowel-based system, kind of like what we have in English. Kanji and katakana, I believe, are more symbolic, so I'm not familiar with, like, a symbolic language at all, so I'm starting with hiragana. Um, but a lot of it is understanding the sounds, because that's that's key for sounding out things. Like, ohayo is good morning, but ohayo is three different, three or four different letters, kind of like sounds, all smooshed together. So once you learn the vowel sounds, ohayo, you can then turn those things into, like, oh, well, I just need to to add this, 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 and that makes Ohio, or whatever it is. What does phonetic mean? My English is not Englishing. Um, phonic, or like sound, sound-based, Ange. So, Ohio is a combination. You are hearing that word, and it it has symbols that register to those sounds. But I feel like, I feel like kanji and katakana are more um, symbolic in terms of like each symbol means one particular word, right? Is that right? Yes, Ohio rather than oh Ohio as people tend to joke about. Yeah. No, I've I've actually watched some um I've actually watched some different I, I have not done a lot of the listening to the language. I've done more of just like I'm trying to understand the, the phonetic and the the sounds first. Yeah. Bum ba bum 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 I've been up since 4 a.m. Please forgive me. <laughs> and <laughs> why aren't you asleep? <laughs> I'm kidding, but yes. Um, Hannah, I did do a lot of French all the way through high school, at least. So I do have a little bit of second language skills, just a bit. It's really hard. It's really hard to, like, have picked up on a language earlier in life. And then, you know, you slowly kind of lose it over time. Um, but that's something that I kind of want to do with, with Japanese more. I've, I've actually changed my phone. I haven't changed my entire phone to um to Japanese but I do have the keyboard active so I can put down like um characters if I wanted to type it out but like yeah I so I have it I have it on my phone Ange but the problem is like I'm just trying to wrap my head around like the sounds and stuff for right now um there's no way that I can there's no way that I can actually you know work stuff out right now for like if I if I switched my phone right now I I have no vocabulary so all of a sudden, like, settings, notes, phone, like, all of that, I'd be totally lost. I'd be like, that's just a bunch of symbols, brother man. <laughs> yes. I'm no language expert, but is Japanese phonetic? Um, hiragana is phonetic, Hawkeye, but I believe katakana and um, kanji are more symbol-based. Yep. It's way harder to change your, char your whole phone to characters than to, like, Spanish or something. Yeah, again, the difference between... The difference between a phonetic or a, uh, or a, you know, symbolic language, I would think. You have to know the vocab word for it in order to know what it is. I think I still have my old Japanese college book. It has a CD! Oh, cool, Jenny. Yeah, um, Finn actually took, like, actual Japanese classes in college. 
Um, I have not had any formal Japanese training, so I'm kind of just going into this blind. Um, but I found a really nice website that explains things really well. Honestly, like I said, it most of the examples here are the examples recommended by the by the website, so I'm kind of going off of that. But yeah. Do, 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 do. I have the Genki textbook. Sweet. Well, I'll learn more once we get to that stage. Me when Katakana is my weakest script. <laughs> yeah, I also just need to get better uh, better handwriting, honestly. My handwriting in English is already kind of poor. I mean, y'all can y'all can tell me what you think, but my I I am not very proud of my handwriting sometimes. It's very um maybe it's just the pen that I use, but I I just write really fast and really small, and I think sometimes that does not does not pair very well. I wish my handwriting was better. <laughs> yeah, but scratch. Anyway, um, I'll keep y'all posted. Maybe tomorrow when I make the other consonants, I'll, I'll give you an update on some things. Does Matt know that League in Japanese is Naguma? No, I don't. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> I don't know many vocab words. That's what I'm saying, Ange. So I need to work on that. Liguma. Ligma? Oh, no, not Ligma. <laughs> It's way better than my handwriting, you need not worry. <laughs> you know, Baco, I'm kind of hoping that as I practice as I practice hiragana and I, as I practice Japanese, I kind of hope that my my attention to detail with my English handwriting will also improve. Hopefully. Anyway, I'll keep y'all updated. I'll let you know how it goes. Your handwriting is way better than mine. I look like a child when I write. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 so strange because the other part is that this website that I've been using was saying like, oh, you know, if you're if you're doing if you're learning Japanese, like you don't need to worry about writing because writing is such a thing that's like out of our culture, right? Like no one writes anymore. Which I mean, they're they're correct, but they're correct, but at the same time, it's like, wait, what? Zelda Secret Well. What's in Zelda Secret Well? What? Zelda had a secret hideout down here. Excuse me? What? Quack, 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 quack. Aw, did she really, like, just put some stuff down here? <gasps> Zelda's diary down here! What are those? What are these? <laughs> oh my gosh. Did she draw these? Aw, oh, y'all, I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be so sad. Ah. Uh, Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us, even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has been- a vis that has taken a visible toll on his clothing. That is why I have put in order- Oh, for a new and improved champion's tunic, just for him. I just can't wait to see what it looks like on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room, so he won't find it until after our invest investigation. Even though he would never expect the torches are the key. He 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 he. The torches are the key. Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh. Aw, can I open this? Man, Zelda. A well-worn hairband. Aw oh, man. What does that description say? An old, worn, simple hairband. Its color has long faded, but it still has some life left in it. Wearing it in your hair makes you sentimental about times past. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. Ding. It's just a little... It's just a little hairband. Ugh. Yeah. Dang, man. Ugh. I love this little spot. I wish there was I wish there was just like a, a spot for me to chill here. Zelda's little Zelda's little hideout, man. He gives you the ponytail again. Ugh. I mean, you kinda have a ponytail already, right? He's got a ponytail, right? Maybe? Can't tell. Anyway. Ay ay ay. Y'all, I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be schmad. Sad and schmad. Howdy do! You found the Zelda and hi, drawing. <laughs> hey, buddy, how's it going? Please, if you need vocal help, I will send you voice notes from class. I would actually love that, Ayanj, because I never, I never got to take a Japanese class or anything of that sort. So, if you have any of those, I think those would be really fun to listen to and very helpful. Because, if anything, 
the thing that I would be missing the most out of trying to learn is the thing that I'm missing the most out of out of learning this by myself. Learning this on my own is fine, but it just means that I I can't anything that you can help with in terms of like auditory stuff for me would be a huge help. Oh, look at this. Look at this cozy little spot. Hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> Sheep, goat. Oh, hey, it's my horse. <laughs> wow, this place is really built up, isn't it? I love a cozy place. Oh man. Is this my diary? Read Zelda's journal. Yeah. After the calamity, I asked myself how to rebuild and set across Hyrule in search of an answer. I saw a collapsed building, lost city. The damage was far worse than I had imagined. But as I watched the people and heard their stories, I was convinced that not all was lost. The people's spirits are not broken. They and their strong wills are Hyrule's greatest treasure. They are the ones who will rebuild, and my contribution to their efforts will be to protect them while they do so. As part of Hyrule's reconstruction, we've built a school in Ateno Village. It's the largest Hylian village with its sprawling, bountiful land. There are so many children living here that it seemed the ideal place to found a school. I've recruited Simon from Simon from the Research Institute to teach here. He was Purin, Pura's assistant for years, which makes him well equipped to deal with the needs of quirky children. <laughs> I'll be overseeing the school while my while my, myself to keep eye on, the eye, blah, 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 eye on the students. I commissioned Bolson, who taught his trade in Hudson 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 of Hudson Construction, to construct the school for us. He seemed deeply moved by the request. This will be his final job in Hateno Village before he sets off on a journey. I had him build a secret room to my house, one that won't appear on the plans. It's dim, but but it's dim, but humidity and temperature controlled, so it's very comfortable. A secret room to my house. Hmm. It's proven very useful when I'm when I'm working alone. I need to concentrate. Work has work on the school has been moving along smoothly, but a major problem uh, recently reared its head. We don't have enough teachers. Simon is interviewing people, but he has yet to find a good fit. I'd like to hire someone intelligent, educated, and capable of earning the children's trust. Nurturing our children is an extension of our duty to this land. We shape our future by the way we why we shape blah, blah, by the way we shape their path. Hope to see sterling members of our community come to this village and take up the mantle as their teacher. Ah, yes. Man, dude. Zelda, fellow science brain? Yes. So much so. Oh. I love how cozy this is. Breath of the Wild slash Cheers the King Kingdom of Zelda. It makes me sad, though, that Zelda is now currently a dragon rummaging above the sky without any of her memories. Oh, brother man. It does, it does make me a little sad. It does make me a little sad. Man. The brush. The horseshoe. It makes me want to start writing a journal, honestly. Little cooking things, but there's no kitchen here. I guess we cook outside, I suppose. I'll make a reminder myself for give you five hiragana each day. I would love to do that, Ange, and I'll just... And I'll try and recall my memory to even just pronounce them, even if I don't remember what they are. But yes, I'd love to do that. Oh, man. Zelda. Why you do this? Why you do this to me? They have such a cute house, like you said, super cozy. I love I love small living spaces. I really I really don't I don't like taking up more space than I am than is necessary. Maybe that's just a weird quirk for me, but I really don't like big spaces. I like I like cozy spaces. Man, each like each area has a functionality to it. I love that. Ay, ay, ay. Dun, 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 dun. May I request a group message for us to both keep up on our hiragana? Yeah, sure. Finn? I think that I think that would also be um that also might make it a little bit a little bit more intentional for Ange as well. Um, because then it's not like hee hee ha ha I'm Hey Matt, I'm throwing I'm throwing Hiragana in your DMs. Now it's like, oh wait, I need to reply to the group and like, you know, send y'all stuff. I think to me in my in my mind that makes it a little, little bit more intentional, so that's fine. Oh man, dude. Uh, this little place. So now we got to go to the throne room, eh? I need to reach my friend. Where? Where is your friend? Yeah. yeah. How far off? Oh, shoot. 
Okay, that's really high up there. Also, is that a shooting star? Dang right it is. Sorry, Korok. I've got matters to attend to. The people call. Um, where did that land? Did it not land? Hmm. Okay, maybe it's not within my render distance. Alright, well, whatever. <laughs> Ayo, look, I can make one of these things again. Can I make this? Dude, I could make this again if I wanted to. I do not want to make that, but yes. And this is the time when I just attach the rocket to the little fella. <laughs> I'd attach the rocket and say, yeet! <laughs> Looks like Korra's gonna be blasting off with Team Rocket again! We're gonna be we're gonna be building my favorite version of that. Which is which is honestly this is one of my this is one of my favorite builds. It honestly reminds me of like it it reminds me of a fighter jet. It reminds me of a fighter jet, and I could not be more happy with it. But this is basically a, a vertical takeoff device. It gives you a bunch of initial propulsion, which is exactly what I need. Time for Korok Blaster 3000. Whoosh. Okay. Never mind, I guess that cliff was right there, right there, right there. Alright. You know, I really hate it when plans don't go to plan. All right, well, forget that. Uh-oh. Not quite vertical, but you are now. I am, uh, yeah, I'm now vertically aligned, that's for sure. You know what? Maybe it's... Oh. Maybe it's better this way. Maybe it's better. Maybe it's better for this way, from for the sake of my battery, you know, because the battery is going to be one of the hardest limitations. I hope I don't run into this wall again. Uh, oh, fun. All right, fine. Did Matt just do that? Yes, it did. All right, fine, people. You want to play it that way? I'm busy. Leave me alone. Maybe it's time from Team Rocket Hot Air Balloon. <laughs> We're slowly taking off again! <laughs> Gee Willikers, I surely hope that my wings don't fall apart midway through this flight. That would really suck, wouldn't it? That would be really quite terrible. Yeah, there's like a maximum pitch angle that I can do with this. And that looks like about the limit. This poor Korok, like... <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> honestly, honestly, y'all tell me the origin story for this guy. Because if he got separated, then that means that he humpty dumpty tumbled all the way down that hill. So if he fell 300 meters to the bottom of this uh, bottom of this cliff, then this little, this little airplane ride is the least of his worries. He's experienced many more of a bonk on the head that... <laughs> This is this is easy peasy for him. Man. Oh, thank goodness. Excellent. Cool. Bingo. Right on target. <laughs> Stay on target. <laughs> Alright, perfect. Literally literally just glided in and plopped it on there. Awesome. And they toss my plane to the side. How nice. Hey, there's a dragon over there. Hey, there's a Korok over there. Man, distractions, eh? This be Tears of the Kingdom, though. Distractions galore. Honestly, though? Actually? Hmm. I was, expect I was expecting the plane just to glide off the edge. That's... Kami, were you here when that happened on stream the other day? Oh, yeah, the glide. The wings are done. Hmm. Give myself a little bit of height here. Ah, eh, not enough. Excuse me, dragon sir. I, I don't mean to be rude or 
you know, any of that jazz, but I would like your stuff, please. Thanks. Appreciate it. Sorry. Oh my gosh, it went flying. Cool. Andy! Hello, Andy. Welcome back. Nadra scale. Super cooled air. Attach it to weapon to greatly increase its attack power. It can be cooked, but just eating it seems like a waste. <laughs> I love how honest they are. <laughs> just eating it seems like a waste. Alright, nice. Hey now, you should ride the dragon. I've already done that. <laughs> I have already I've already succeeded in that task. Block out! <laughs> because of the physics in this game? Yes, the physics are goofy, man. Goofy doofy. Alright, y'all. Um I need to grab some water because hydration... <laughs> Mancha scale! <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, I need to grab some water because hydration reasons. Um, so give me, a, give me a second. We're going to teleport back to here. And then I will come back with some more. Actually, more specifically, I'm going to come back with some LaCroix. Some lime LaCroix. Yeah. He was a good... He was having a calzone, and then he tripped. It was too good to be real, so he tripped to make sure it was real. And then, oops, he fell over the cliff. <laughs> 300 meters. <laughs> Time to go get ice cream. Good choice. All right, y'all. I will be right back, and we'll have some water. If you have not grabbed water, please hydrate. Um, if you've not gotten up and stretched in a while, take a stretch break. Why not? Touch your toes. It's a good thing. All right. I'll be right back. Hello. I'm back. Um, I need to, uh, also, I need to text, text back my parents because they, um, they just took a five-hour drive. They took a five-hour drive and just got back home now. It's like midnight, so I need to reply to them real quick. Ay ay ay. I'll be joining in the coma corner after I have my calzone here. 
Do you make your own calzones, Glister? Do you, like, buy them from somewhere? I love calzones. They're very good. Stretch, food break, medication for those who need it. Yes. My tacos are gone. No! Sits in a food coma. What, um, what tacos did you have, Jenny? Like, what flavors? Chicken? Beef? Playing Tears of Kingdom Assault just beat the Ion Island Coliseum. Neat. Um, also, can I run in a can I run an experiment with y'all? I realized I realized as I was downstairs that I kinda wanna try. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the button that says like, hey, throw in an ad break for your stream. Which like used to be a Twitch exclusive thing, but recently YouTube has added that as a feature. Um, I realized that while I was away for a few minutes, I could have ran it just to see how it works. Um, but because YouTube just kind of added this, um, I want to see, like, how it functions. I don't know if it, I don't know if it triggers for, like, only non-members. So, like, members probably don't, yeah, see, Jenny, I don't know if you're even going to see it because you're a member, so it may not even filter for you, but, um, let me hit the button and, um, I need to text back my parents real quick. Uh, but y'all, feel free to give me some feedback of, like, what happens. <laughs> what what occurs when I hit this magical button? Because the problem, the problem is that YouTube... The problem is that YouTube decided to implement the system where it... They will try to throw ads at you, like, midway through. Um, but I, I disabled that because I don't like... I don't like YouTube dictating, like, when... When they throw in ads, essentially. Yes. I have YouTube Premium, so Kink won't even get ads. Exactly. That's the other part. Also, Tara, the uh, the slow mode is literally, like, a two-second slow mode, just so that people can't, like, rapidly spam stuff. Um, all right. I'll throw this down, see what happens. Y'all can... Y'all can tell me what, what occurs. And I'll text back my parents. Da, 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 da. All right. Do, do, do. Made it back safely. I got something about mental health. Oh no! <laughs> what is YouTube trying to say? <laughs> got an ad, let's go! Did you all get just one? Was it like a skippable ad? No ads for kink, cause premium. Ryan Reynolds ad jump scare! <laughs> you got a skincare as an ad! <laughs> what am I supposed to mean? <laughs> Man, <laughs> yeah. Jenny, Jenny feels called out. <laughs> this ad is telling me to drink Red Bull. Are you kidding, Ange? <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I watched a short video today about social media. Um, am I terrified about using social media? I mean, eh, kind of. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Social media is all around us. Run it back! <laughs> I didn't get anything. Um, I don't know, Finn. Maybe because you're a member? I don't know. No ads for Zach. See, that's kind of weird. How I don't know why YouTube does it. Maybe... May uh, I don't know if it's it. It's also due to like duration, you know. Not the Red Bull. Watching on your TV would that make a difference? I don't know. Domino's Pizza ad. <laughs> Someone's hungry. <laughs> There's a second one. Rah! <laughs> Maybe on your phone. It's promoting perfume. <laughs> are you saying? Are you saying I'm stinky? <laughs> How dare! <laughs> Help! Let me out. <laughs> Ad blocker might block it. Zach and I have premium. Yeah. It's it's probably partly due to premium, partly due to ad blocker. No ads for Chris? I don't know, man. It picks it chooses its it's it chooses its victims. Oh hey, there's another dragon. Is that the uh isn't that the dragon that I just Isn't that the dragon I just hit the scale from? He's not he's not bright and shiny, right? So if he's not bright and shiny, then he's not his scales aren't available, right? 
Same dragon? Okay, then I won't I won't beat him up. <laughs> Same dragon. Um, so do his scales reset at like a like a blood moon, for example? I'm assuming. Dang, dude, look at his claws. Look at that big old dragon. Holy cow, dude. Big dragon. They reset every two minutes. Oh. It's a time thing, not a blood moon. Oh, you don't say then. Huh. Interesting. Well, he's not bright and shiny, so that ain't it. Like, ten, ten minutes or more, not two. Okay. Yep. I feel like it's been two minutes, so ten minutes is probably closer to that. Ten minutes sounds more correct. <laughs> well, yeah, especially since I've been away for more than two minutes, for sure. Oh, hey, what up? <laughs> you know, I was wondering if that was... I was wondering if that was going to happen. Oh, where'd it go? Uh. Whoa. Like, my game... My game actually, like, froze, froze. Did that? Where did that go? Uh. Dang. I've not seen that happen before. Link is dying. That was bizarre. So, is it down there? Huh. <gasps> Harold! Hello, Harold, and gotcha, Cookie Lover, too. Hello, both of y'all. How are things going? Did it fall all the way down here? <laughs> Is this it? This must be it. Hey, oh, there it is. Okay, I got it. Sick. Excuse me, sir. Not not interested. Thanks. Oh my gosh, it just decapitated him. Oopsie. Sorry. Hey, now we're in the depths. <laughs> what up? <laughs> I love how the dragon the dragon noises are still here. Cool. Alright. Whee! I just finished your video. Welcome back. Welcome back, Harold. Weep. Alright, cool. Uh well I didn't I didn't really need to go down here. I just wanted to grab the dragon, so. Uh can I go to the throne room and try and find the um can I go to that throne room and try and find that armor set that we were talking about? Is this the first time that you've seen the dragon go to the depths? I think I, I knew that they went through the they went through the depths thing, but I don't think I ever like went with them and like, you know, jumped in the hole while they went down through. I don't think so. Um, okay. Uh what time is it? Eleven forty? I will spend the next bit trying to go for the um trying to go for this throne room mystery, apparently. I love how these are just like these guys are just like yeah yeah they're so they're so happy. Did you figure out the random charge in your card? Yeah, Harold. I just I decided to I decided to close my card and get a new one. Oh, hey, it's these guys. All right, well we're gonna build this this time. Yeah, I've I've closed my card because it just seemed it just seemed too suspicious. It seemed a little too weird to me, a little too goofy. So I figured best to just be best to just be cautious. Oh, I turned it off. There we go. There we go. Have you touched the dragon? Uh, yes, kind of. Visited Zelda's dragon for sure. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Bonked. 
Muddy dope. Good idea to close the card. It just seemed... For, so for those for those that don't know... Oh, can I use this? This just like gives me gloom, right? Yeah. Interesting. Eh, I don't regret. I mean, it's okay to it's okay to use this while it's like on the surface because you you recover you recover on the surface. It causes damage, of course, but sturdy stick. That was worth it. Blah, 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 blah. All right, bedtime for me. I gotta be up like super early, so 5:30, 5:45. Ah! Thank you for streaming as always. Have a great stream, Matt and friends. Take care, Hannah. Thank you for your company, of course. For your company, and I um, hope uh, hope you have a good day at work tomorrow. Oh, that was it. Farewell, sir. Yeah. So for those that uh, for those that weren't here for this uh, excursion, um, last last Tears of Kingdom stream actually. No, sorry, yesterday stream. Um, I had two weird charges from, uh, I had two kind of weird charges from Nintendo, but it was Nintendo, and then it had, like, a long list of numbers after it, and then the phone number attached to the, uh, the phone number attached to the, the person who was charging it, it just used Nintendo's customer service phone number, which seemed really sus to me, like, why... Customer service of Nintendo is not going to be charging me for anything. They did not email me, and I'm not using NSO right now, like, from them. So it just seemed really, really sketch. I just decided to close my card and start fresh. So no biggie, no sweat. Close the card. There are no other, there are no other mysterious transactions on there right now. I confirmed all my other transactions. So it's okay. But it's just kind of weird and kind of a hassle to charge everything back. But it's all right now. Do, 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 do. My mom also had someone try to use her card this morning, and she had to freeze it. Exactly. Same boat. Same boat, Blister. Eat. Farewell. Bonk. Excuse me, sir. Forgot to do this. Hello, Wiz. Goodbye. Also, for forgot to do the Genshin. I've been too busy Xenoblading. That's okay, Finn. Thank you for, thank you for doing that. Hello, Wiz. No more bows. Do, 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 do. Gotcha, Cookie Lover. Sometimes I hate when I can barely do anything as of late. Just feeling like you're stuck. I understand that feeling. Thankfully, I've been a little bit better about that lately, but it's been it's been hard in the past. Does anyone know where the Barbarian Helm is? I don't know where to look. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of... I'm sort of in the same boat, <laughs> Zach. I'm also kind of looking for damage up armor and such like that, so I'm I'm kind of in the same realm as you are. But uh, I've I've got a lead that I know I might know where one other armor piece is, so that's what I'm looking for right now. I fana, by the way. Excuse me, gentlemen, sir. Do, 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 do. All right, Sanctum, throne room. The key is in the torches, she said. Hmm. Hmm. Me and Tears of the Kingdom wearing mismatched armors all the time. <laughs> you're not. You're not playing Tears of the Kingdom right if you're not wearing mismatched armors. <laughs> obviously. Oh man, spooky. Spooky, spooky goopy. I always get this way when I'm not in the right state of mind or I'm just stressed about something going on in general. Yeah, there's always, sometimes there's always like a general state of anxiety, you know, with stuff going on, gotcha, but honestly, sometimes the best thing is just time and slowly working through it. Did she say that she hid it behind the... Behind the throne? But the key is the torches? Okay, if you say so. Yes. Whoosh. Hey, oh! What is this, a crypt? <laughs> Alright, sick. 
Oh, it's literally in here. Man, Zelda. You goofball. <gasps> Whee! Champion's Leathers! Oh, cool. Such as a new shoulder guard. Oh, that looks amazing. Champion's Tunic, complete. What about the rest of the champion stuff? Oh, hey! That looks so fitting. That looks great. I'm on board with that. I don't really like the white boots, though. Do, 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 do. All right. Oopsie. Looks so fancy. There's no other champion stuff. Okay. Uh, so then, what about the barbarian stuff that we were talking about? Do y'all know the location of the barbarian thing in the barbers? Also, my cats have been trying to catch a bug that I cannot see for the last half hour. I have the windows open because it got really warm up here. Blip. Blip, 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 blip. Blip, yeah. Caves, I think. Specific set of caves. I gotta go. Take care, Tara. Thanks for hanging out with us after Kink's Raid. Oosh. Wee. Do you have any of them yet? No, I do not. I do not have any of the Barbarian stuff. In fact, I honestly forgot about it until y'all talked about it today. Hyrule Castle is a good place to pick up on fusible weapons. Yes. I, I f did that a lot when I was running through the Gloom Hand portion, Blocko. Um, haven't seen anything yet, but I, I know what you mean for sure. There's like royal swords and stuff everywhere. In fact, there was one downstairs I should probably grab too. Goo weapons. Barbarian isn't in the maze this time. Oops. Thank goodness, because that maze would have been not fun. Da, 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 da. Where is that sword from earlier? Oh, no. I'm going to be eepy eepy soon. I'm going to be sleepy. Don't worry, Ange. We're not going to stream for too much longer. I'm pretty much at the end of what I want to do. Um, I might grind for some armor stuff off stream, y'all. I might work on... Um, and a lot of the armor upgrading is going to involve... Me. Holy red sauce, brother man. All right. Um, oh, we're back here. Uh, a lot of it is going to be requiring me to, like, go find materials off stream. Um, like, I have to find very specific ingredients in order to upgrade the upgrade the armors and such. So I will do that off stream. Um, next stream, we'll talk with Pura and we'll get an idea of, like, what's next on the... Uh, what's next on the list of things to do story-wise. And then we'll go from there. My knowledge of Breath of the Wild is so much deeper than Tears of the Kingdom, I forget. But also, but also not just deeper, Finn. I'm sure it's also, like, melding and smooshing together. <laughs> like, oh yeah, this specific, specific thing at this specific location, right? And you're like, ah, oh, crap. Can I hit this from here? Can I, get a, can I get an old key swing? Is it linear? Is it, like, perfectly linear or just, like, less drop-off? Oh, it's pretty linear. Boosh! Nice. Yar har har! You're welcome. Throw me that throw me that Korok seed from 200 meters away. Somehow he just gave it to me. <laughs> He's miles away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, time to slide over the goop. Perfect. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> how did that not how did that not do damage or something? I don't know. You have to talk with the fashion ladies. Then the helmets are in the maze. I have to go look. I'm so tired. Four hours of sleep did not do me justice. Did not help me out. Ange, did you did you mention why you only got four hours of sleep? Like, listen, I understand staying up late. I do it too, but just out of curiosity. Whoa. Whoa. What's down there? Huh. Hey, Matt, you should try climbing to the top of the castle. Oh, you don't say, Blocko. <laughs> mm. <laughs> can try doing that. It'll be fun. I only got the shirt. I don't know where the rest is. I got the hat, but I can't remember where I got the hat from. Yeah, I got the hat from somewhere. I have the hat. Oh, uh, no, no, no. I remember. I got the hat from... The climbing hat is in Zoro's Domain. And it is in one of the caves underneath one of the waterfalls. Because I went there thinking that that's where I was supposed to go for a quest. I believe it is the waterfall. I, I think it's this one. 
I'm pretty sure it's this waterfall next to Shatterback Point. Shatterback Point. What a what a freaking name. Yo, y'all want to jump off Shatterback Point? YOLO. <laughs> Good lord. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty. It's behind one of the waterfalls there. It requires like a lot of climbing on wet surfaces, so just be careful. Be warned. But yeah, that's where that is, for sure. Do, 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 do. Zuko caught the bug. I think it's in his mouth, and he keeps trying to swallow it. Zuko, what is he doing? Brother man, Zuko wants more protein in his diet. Not enough. Whenever I wake up from my naps, I question, like, what is real and what is fake? And then I ask, can I go back to bed? <laughs> can I go back to... Can I go back to bed? <laughs> I don't want to be in this fantasy. Yeah, mood. Questioning my existence and the fact of reality isn't fun, I assure you. My favorite is when I wake up from a nap and I think it's the, ne the next day and I'm late for work. <laughs> you can find the caves by using the Satori trees. Are those the cherry blossom looking ones? By chance? Maybe? Mayhaps? I have a deluxe guidebook for this game. I'm going to break it out. Yes! Put some use. Most armor sets are found in the caves, if I recall. Hey, oh, sick. I was binging shows until 12.30 last night until I realized, oh, I have to wake up early. No! When your schedule, when your schedule catches you by surprise. Yeah, no, I feel that, Ange. I, so I ended stream last night, right? We were playing Genshin. And um, I was talking with Finn, and I was like, oh, crap. I have to go. I still have to drive out to my parents' place, which is 30 minutes away, take care of my cat, and drive back. Sorry, I was just trying to get... Uh, I was just trying to get outside. I just wanted to get outside so I can enjoy the sunrise. Y'all. I, I just wanted to enjoy the sunrise. Wow, so pretty. Don't talk about how late we stayed up yesterday. It was just it was just a it was just a circumstance of it was just a circumstance of this situation. That's okay. My choir teacher threatened that if we didn't show up to the rehearsal that we couldn't perform. I was not about to risk it. But this is also the same teacher that has used excuses like, oh, uh, sorry, all of my alarms didn't go off. This is the same choir teacher, right, Ange? Am I not am I not am I tripping? Am I right here? Crazy. You need to talk with random NPCs, which is odd. I just need armor. Let me buy them. <laughs> Let me at that teacher. Yeah. The freaking double standards of this lady. I'm gonna, I'm gonna black, I'm gonna blackmail y'all. I'm gonna threaten you with not being able to perform if you don't get here. Meanwhile, meanwhile, this lady also, I don't know, like, oh, oopsie, my alarm didn't go off. It's like, well, okay, if you're giving yourself that excuse, then you better give some validity to the students who also have that happen too. Man. Finn, Matt, yes? Questions? Answers. I'll give you answers. <laughs> the answer is living two time zones away and I am a night owl. So here we are. Oh, what's up? It's a bow. Who just left this sitting here? Who would do such a silly thing? You can't get what? What do you mean I can't? What? Guess I couldn't just I couldn't drop it on top of the other one. <laughs> Night owl life, patience. What's that? Oopsie, my alarm didn't go off. My patience, my patience got lost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Oopsie, I forgot that. No cap. Come on, man. Dances. <laughs> yes, that's me. <sighs> so instead of seven forty-five, we had to be there at seven. Me, who got there at six fifteen. You got there at 6.15, Ange. Good gravy. That's so early. This looks like a door. Is this not a door? Open up. Open up! Oh my gosh, Link. Parkour. About to break down. The I'm going to break down those boxes in the back over there. Is this the right... Yeah, you better finish that climb. Oh, uh -oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a now night owl, but an early bird. <laughs> nothing like nothing like trimming the candle at both ends. Am I right? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. 
Um, gotcha. I'm having emotional health problems right now myself. Been depressed lately, but people make fun of me for being gay, so it's hard for me right now. Yeah, it's it's really hard, Zach, when you're also just trying to manage on your own, and all of a sudden you've got, like, pressures from many different sides. I have not experienced that kind of discrimination myself, but I can understand that it's really difficult. Um. Hmm. Bit a bit. I'm a night owl too, but I'm on the west coast. I'm a west coast night owl. So, night owl for me. I mean, so how... Okay, so question for my west coast night owls. How late do y'all stay up then? Because, like, I stay up pretty late for east coast stand, east coast, east coast time, but like, you know... 3 a.m. for mi 3 a.m. for me is midnight. 6 a.m. Pacific? Gosh dang it. Gloucester just Gloucester just lives at night. <laughs> she, she she is the definition of a night owl. Just exists in another time time frame. Oh hey, what up? Nice. I'll get rid of uh I don't know. Get rid of this guy. Yields massive destruction and uh, whatever. All nighters. 3 a.m.? Yeah. Fair. At least I'm in common company here. Ooh, Sapphire, hello. Cool. Sweet. Anything else up here in the in the wild blue towers? Um, while I'm up here, can y'all can y'all just inform me if there's anywhere specific I need to be looking? Just so I'm not I'm not wasting my time or anything of that sort. Or hey, Matt, if you're gonna be up here, you might as well visit A or B or C. I got I got the clock tower stuff. The bell tower. Whatever it's called. Keep going! I figured so. <laughs> and I should have stayed up there. That's okay. Go to the very, very, very top. It's kind of like leading you upward, right? School night is a gamble. A friend did, and she did not like it. <laughs> yeah. School nights are hard. I mean, when you have to, like, you know, be up early and such. Can I goof this a little bit? Goofy. Goofy. Goofy, goofy. Mm -hmm. ah, it's right there. I see it. <laughs> you have to be like... You have to be like... <laughs> Duh! <laughs> Get in there! <laughs> Man. Shove yourself up. <laughs> Man. I said! Falls over! <laughs> yeah. Shoves in like this little crevice, essentially. There we go. Woo! If you don't sleep, you get cancer. Then you will then you will get weak. <laughs> no, not bad, Ange. I mean I know it's I know it's Oh, hell what the heck? Well, let me make sure I have enough space for this. Sorry, soldier boy. Dusk bow. Yo, it forcefully fires long range arrows. It's been the royal family for ages. What is it doing up here? All right, sick. But also, does that have limited durability? Twilight bow. Matt, you keep changing my party. Sorry, I was doing co-op yesterday. I was doing I was doing stream and co-op and stuff. Finnaman. It I do remember that. It's the bow from the final boss of Breath of the Wild when we like armed ourselves with a giant lightning bow. Lightning! Lightning, lightning, lightning! Anyways, go to the top of everything, just so you can see the land. It'll be it'll this will be your day some one someday, Simba. Of course. Just for that reason alone. What a weird thing to put, like, in the crevasse of that thing, too. That's weird. Goofy. Man, I can't imagine. Being a being a high-wire electrical service... Electrical service technician be like... It's too... Oh, hey, there's a Korok up here. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Lightning! <laughs> Man. Sleep us for the week. <laughs> yes. I'm standing in Genshin as a tall man. Oh my gosh, actually, you can. Oh, you can hang out up here. Cool. Who would have known? Yeah. Yaha! Thanks, Korok. Dude. Can I get, like, a thumbnail without the Korok hovering in my face? 
Uh, nope, I guess not. Guess I should have. Guess I should have taken this thumbnail without before the, before I activated the Korok. Can I um? Well, that's funky. Huh? <laughs> Landscape shot. Self portrait. Royal bow. Royal claymore. Well, we're gonna save that then. Bingo. Royal bow. That's a royal bow, all right. Just want to clip out the Korok later? I don't know. Dude, that's so cool. I love being up here. I wish I could just come up here more often. <sighs> Alright, y'all. Um, any Anywhere in particular I need to go next? Like, I don't know, top of this tower? Uh, this is like free viewpoint up here. I could be that guy and I could like save up here and then just use this as kind of like my coordinating spot. It's also past 12, so I should probably cap it soon. Leave the Korok and put a bongo head on it. Of course. Naturally. <laughs> yeah, ha ha, you found it. I'm not gonna lie, I found that bow in like the first five hours of playing since I immediately left the Great Skyline food to Hyrule Castle just to get weapons. <laughs> That's great. I appreciate that, Bongo. Um, speaking of the Great Plateau. Speaking of the Great Plateau. I don't think I ever went there. TBH. Where is that from here? Where's the Great Plateau? Send it down here somewhere. It's somewhere. <laughs> it's somewhere, you say? Yeah, I don't think I went there. It's Kakariko. That's the village. That's Coliseum Ruins. Isn't it like somewhere around here somewhere? Lake Hylia. Grasslands. I'm trying to remember my I'm trying to remember my locales. Is it over here? Satori Mountain? Plains? Mount Daphne's? West Hyrule Plains? Korok Karok Bridge? I don't know. Below the Coliseum. Hopper Pond, River of the Dead. Mount Hylia. Mount Naburu. Dig a dog. Dig a dog. Forest of Time. Is it over here? Du, 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 du. Sultry pl Plateau. I don't recognize it from above and below. You don't remember any of Breath of the Wild? No, Finn. I don't remember, like... I do... I do remember it, but, like, not... The specific layout of an overhead map. I remember the Twin Peaks being over here, and then you had to, like, travel over here. Is this the out... No, that's the Outpost Ruins. Scouts Hill. Eastern Abbey. Is this the temple that had the... Is this the temple that had the thingy on Bobber? It was the River of the Dead. What a... What a crazy... What a crazy thing that we're, like, literally on the River of the Dead, huh? Why is this pin here? Interesting. You mentioned like several places on it. See, like I remember, I remember being there. I just don't. All right, I'm gonna go. Y'all wild, man. Bonk, 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 bonk. Okay, good night. <laughs> Are you in the bed, Blocko? <laughs> Excuse me? You're wild. <laughs> no, I know. I am a uh, man alive. Don't mind me. I just have 600 bre I just have 600 hours in my in my Breath of the Wild playthrough. No, no, no. That's okay, y'all. Oh, jeez. Is it warm? I need to switch. Thank you. I need to sleep. Everyone has good Tears of the Kingdom vibes. Thank you, Blocko. Thanks for sticking around for a second. I'm gonna go to a different spot because I don't like how that... I don't like being in this hot zone. <laughs> too, too warm. Bumba. It's not named specifically. It doesn't say, like, the Great Plateau. I think we'll finish at the Great Plateau tonight. I'll just walk over there real quick. EP? EP time is sleep. Yes. Alright. 
let us let us travel. Oh dang, man. I don't know. Somehow it looks the same, but then somehow it looks entirely different. The Great Plateau, it really is. I might just take a balloon up there, to be honest with you. Especially since... Yeah, especially since it's raining right now. You know what? Of course it's... Of course it's gonna thunderstorm now. Of course it is. You don't have enough room. Alright. Sick. I sure do love that all of my weapons are electric. Literally every single one. Uh... <laughs> uh, hmm? Lord of the Rings meme. One does not simply walk into the Great Plateau. <laughs> I'm about to. <laughs> I'm about to, kink. <laughs> Man. One does not simply walk into the Great Plateau. <laughs> Here we go. Nope, I don't really want to fight. I don't really want to fight that like that. Ba-da-ba. ba da ba boop boop ba da ba Oh, wait, is there a... Wait a minute. Can I do this? Hmm! <laughs> I'll try it this way. I'll give it a go this way. Alright, y'all. I will, uh... We'll do this, we'll get on the Great Plateau, and then I'll, I'll finish up stream after that. Because I am... I am exhausted. Do -do -do -do. Uh, Zach, we've been flirting back and forth in King Stream the past couple days. Hope it goes well! Hope it goes. Oh, hope it goes. Hope it goes. Hope it goes well too, Zach. Hugabudaba. 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 Words. Yay! Sleep. <laughs> I hear. I hear that loud and clear. <laughs> loud and clear, Ange. I found the plateau because my horse ran to the entrance. <laughs> horse. <laughs> Dang, dude. And it's raining. Womp womp. Oh yeah, I, the freaking Frosty Islands place where I snowboarded all the time. Wow, dude, brother memories. Now it's got some gaping holes there. Who put those holes there? Who did that to my, who did that to my poor plateau? Also, have I been there? I think I've been to this guy. I have not. Hmm. All right, onward. I'm skipping class tomorrow. I don't care how late I sleep, but yay, sleep. <laughs> Are you? Please don't skip class if you can help it, Ange, but hey, you know, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do to get through life, including that. Holy guacamole, Batman. The Great Plateau! It's freaking thunderstorming. Why do we do this? Senioritis? Hey, you know what? That's valid. Senioritis be real. <laughs> That's valid. I understand this. Who's this guy? Is that a Bokoblin? A little armored guy. Man, it's so weird being back. Me no like thunderstorms. That's okay. Thunderstorm will be over soon. The weatherman tells me so. I'll just let him do his thing. No need to bother him. Okay, that's cool. Lightning! Yep. I said otherwise. She was like, I'm upset with y'all. How dare you? You're welcome, Zach. Onward. On we run to the shrine of the apples and acorns. Cool. Man, 
It feels like just yesterday that I was rummaging around these forests in Breath of the Wild. Man, how time flies. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Oosh. Have I found these before? What are these? Oh, armor ant, of course. Ah, the sun comes out. The sun will come out tomorrow. It's a beautiful day again. I told you to wait until tomorrow. When the sun will rise once more. Even though it's a hard day. Yesterday. Tomorrow. Can I just skip resin stuff today? Uh, sure. No problem. Condense the resin? I think I've... I think I condensed it yesterday. Is there space for condensing? If there's not space, then don't worry about it. I'll take care of it later. Um, bum bum bum. Ba da da. Da 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 da. Oh, excuse me? Gentlemen? Gentlemen, you really, you really, you really, really want to interrupt my time. You really want to interrupt my time here. That ain't cool. Jerks. I'm not up for this. Why are they here? Freaking go away. Brother man. Burn it with fire. Burn it with fire. Bring it on all the stops, because y'all are persistent. Is the Dusk Bow, um, another a question. Uh, does the Dusk Bow have infinite durability because it's like a unique weapon, or does that not matter? Do we not, does it not care, <laughs> you know? All right, what weapon do I want to use for this? I guess use the Master Sword. A little bit. And then I'll throw on, a, I don't know, some sort of weapon. Let me go. Jerk. Why does Phantom Ganon just, you know, show up? I thought I got rid of you earlier. I thought I got rid of you earlier. Brother. Go away. P.O. Be gone. You know, he's just like, oh, haha, ha, I saw you once. I guess I can just show up at random times again. No, you can't. Go away. Dark club. All right, well, cool. We survived that encounter. Jeez, man. Just trying to take a nice stroll through the forest, and this is what I get? Freaking rude. Alright, sorry, gentlemen. Ay, ay, ay. Where were we? Oh, yeah, shrines. This way. <whistles> Nothing has infinite durability in weapons. Okay. Me never using my fierce, fierce deity sword because of that? That's kind of how I'm feeling. There's, like, a bunch of weapons in here that I don't want to use, because I'm like, these are, these are sacrosanct. So really, the only thing that has dur infinite durability is the Master Sword, is that right? In terms of, like, it'll come back eventually. Panda! Hello! Good morning. Hi. Sorry, I was fighting some gloomy hands. Just want to say I was lurking and listening to you while I was working on schoolwork. I was behind on... Thanks for thanks for lurking and hanging out, Panda. Also, um, I was hanging out in you and Zombie's uh, content warning stream earlier last week. It was so much fun. Such a blast. 
Ba -da -da, da -da 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 -da. I wouldn't call that infinite durability. I would just say regenerative durability. Regenerative is the proper way to say it, but you know, in my in my frame of mind, it means it'll come back. You know. So anyway, um, with that, I think that'll be it for stream, y'all. I'm looking to see if I want to get a higher higher ground. <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Blech. Panda! Thank you for 10. Oh my gosh, that's very generous of you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Can I, can I bop the... Pink. Can I put a little heart there? Yeah. Thank you, Panda. I appreciate it very, very much. And um, I hope I can chat with you and Z about future planet stuff too this week, whenever we have some time. Ra -da -da. Don't you want to go to the Shrine of Resurrection? Uh, I could. Is it somewhere in these? If it's is it somewhere in these mountains that I've yet to find though? Blink, beak, blink. Not interested in that in that guy. Go away. You know what? I don't appreciate that. Do I have to climb this thing? Find a way. Or end on the hill where Breath of the Wild started? I could. Oh yeah, the cut. Man, dude, what a classic. Panda, there it is. Thank you, friend. Weep, weep, weep. Please put some hearts in chat for Panda's ten dollars. It's appropriate because I have the I have the Breath of the Wild donation thingy. Can I go up this? Maybe, possibly. Burp, 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 burp. You can go up and over the right there, over this way. Does that work? Okay, one second. Does hitting the like button count as a heart in chat? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not, Fuzzy? That is acceptable. Acceptable. Excuse me, sir. You turned. Okay. One moment. Okay. Good timing. Bublé. Yep. Yep. Bonk. Oh, shield. Uh, I suppose. I mean, I'm kind of at the, uh, kind of at the stage where, like, my shields are pretty dang good at this, at this moment. <laughs> Alright. Should I go... I can just climb this. I don't really particularly care. We definitely need more Korok plorts, if that's the case. Korok? Korok seeds? <laughs> I got my climbing got my climbing hat on, so it should be fine. Not surprisingly, it's in the same spot as Breath of the Wild. Who would have known? Alright, we'll, we'll find our way up there, and then we'll, we'll finish off stream from that point. But thank you guys for thank you guys for hanging out and for your time. King, thank you for rating. I'm glad that you finished your Tears of the Kingdom run. And um, thanks for choosing us as your raid target tonight. Um, tomorrow we'll be playing Fortnite Wednesday, per usual. Um, and Fortnite Wednesday will include some uh, zero build games together as we continue in our quest progress and such. So if y'all would like to join me for that, you're more than welcome to. Uh, and then Thursday we'll be closing closing in on the end of Celeste, actually. Celeste will be very close to being finished, too. Um, so it's really nice. We'll be rounding out some stuff this uh, this week. Hopefully, maybe, possibly-ish. Awesome! But yeah, last uh, last Fortnite stream we did, I had a lot of fun. It was an absolute blast. So I'm kind of excited to uh, to go back to it now. Um, so here's the ice... Here's the ice zone. Is the Resurrection Shrine over here somewhere? Maybe. There's the forest. Temple's over there. Okay. Indeed it does. Oh, hello. Yay, found him. Hurrah! I can't give you directions because you keep moving. Um, assume that I'm going to be... I'm, assume I'm traveling in this direction this way, Finn. In, along this along this cliff line right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push this general direction. If you have suggestions from this point, feel free. It's where the cliff juts out. Ah. 
You mean, you mean this guy? Ah, too short. Hey, buddy. There he goes. Man, dude. What the crap? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Please hold. Oh, what happened to all the... What happened to all my stuff? I hate when it does that. Does it all burn? I love picking up key swings. It's my favorite thing. Keys attack! Ah! <laughs> That's funny. Alright, sorry, back to your regular scheduled program. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'll go I'll go walk back up the mountain. Sorry, I, I cannot uh I, I cannot resist the temptation of um free keys wings and key keys eyeballs. Hello shrooms. Do you know the secret of bloopies in this game? Those little guys? Yeah, if you, A, if you hit them, you get rupees. Uh, B, they function like the foxes in Ghost of Tsushima, where they lead you to caves in general. And then when you go inside, the caves have the little, like, larger, larger cave lizard thingies that give you the goopy star drop thingies that, um, Mr. Man likes to eat for, I don't know, becoming a, be becoming a, whatever it's called. I should stop speaking in, in vague terms. What are they called? The, the, the star drop thingamabobbers that you can give away, whatever they're called. The the booble. Yeah, the booble bubble. Booble frogs. Booble frogs and booble gems. Yeah, those things. Booble, booble. So yeah, here we are. Shrine of Resurrection after all that. Crazy, man. Booble gems. Can I go visit this again? Just for old time's sake. Shrine of Resurrection. Who would have thought, man? Who would have thought? It's it's odd that it looks very much... There's a booble. Sorry, buddy. It, it looks so much like a Tears of the Kingdom cave. Booble gem. Like, it, it doesn't look like the Shrine of Resurrection anymore at all. It's actually really lost. It's lost all of its... Its glamour. Kind of, it's kind of saddening, actually. Yeah. They got rid of everything related to Breath of the Wild. I don't really like it. Is there a Yiga thing? <gasps> what? Is there a Yiga thing in here? What is this? Yeah, it lost all of its chic attack, which I'm not really a fan of. Danger. Danger. Oh. Is he not opening up? Danger. If I pick up this banana, do I fight somebody? Mighty bananas! <laughs> the noble swordsman, scrounging for scraps! You failed the oldest trick in the book! You stumbled to our secret storehouse for treasures of the depths, and now you've seen... Yeah, I can't let you live! Your life ends today! You wanna... Oh, hello. Hi. I don't have any weapons. Excellent. Cool. Ah, the classic banana trap. I should have known. Bloom toll. Can I, um... Please hold. About to... See, Help me to do that. There we go. Bonk. Ouch. I didn't, didn't think they would last very long. Alright, cool. Can I have my banana now? Thanks. Ayo! Hey Hi, friend. Beep boop. Classic banana trap! Ah! The Fatui got a new look, I see! Authorize, authorizer verified. Bleep bloop. Aw, hey, buddy. Danger! Thank you for driving me, the intruders. Those interlopers carry me in here with them from the depths. I have no way of returning to where I was stationed, therefore I will continue my work here. My task in the depths was to manage schema stones. A great deal of zonite was mine and processed there once. Please hold. 
<laughs> I confirm that there is a schema stone you do not have yet. Please allow me to rectify that. Schema stone! Cool. Beam cycle! <gasps> what is that? Beam cycle? What on earth? Schema stone provided useful for you. What the heck? Beam cycle? Huh? Oh, dude. That sounds like fun. Hmm. Boy, oh boy. Can't wait for that. If you attach non-gloom weapons to the end of... You won't deal gloom damage. Oh, that's that's a fun fact. Because the damage is being done by the attachment, not by the, uh, by the gloom. Hmm. But that's only if you attach weapons on weapons, right? Interesting. I will keep that in mind, kink. Oh, hey, bomb flower. Yeah, it's actually really disappointing, Finn. I don't, I don't like how they like, like. It's just a pond of water now. It's not even Sheikah. Like, if you're not gonna have the Sheikah thing, why bother? I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being too critical, but I just, I just, I just don't like it. Bookcase back. That's how I feel about your stuff. Bookcase back. Nah, you're right. Like, I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to go back to Breath of the Wild specifically, just to open up the, the Resurrection Shrine again. I wouldn't normally tell you about the game. We'll never tell you that. And there's a lot of things in this game that are like that, though, Kink, so thanks for the info. Alright, y'all are probably tired of me. Uh, y'all are probably tired of seeing me without any energy or food. I'll go rectify that later. I don't feel like using my food. Um, actually, one of my favorite things is to go out to the, um, not waste any food, and I like to go to the, uh, these... These volcano, these volcano um, springs, <laughs> volcanic springs, and go uh, chill there for some health. So I'll go do that later. Also, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I'm getting some Final Fantasy vibes. <laughs> I hear, I hear the Final Fantasy VII theme in my in my head, <laughs> even though that's not Breath of the Wild. <laughs> da 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 <laughs> da 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 da. <laughs> That's not at all what this is, but, you know, it's in my head. So, uh, anyway. I think it's everything. Boiling water, place of resurrection. Exactly. Alright, y'all. It's, it's time for bed. Thank y'all for your time, as always. Thank you for your company. And, um, I'll be back tomorrow with Fortnite. But I, I appreciate y'all hanging here. Kink, thanks for rating, like I said. And, um, I'll do this. I'll do more stuff off stream, and we'll sort out. We'll sort out where to go next. Who knows? Good night, Zach. Thank you for chatting with us. And I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll feature another uh, Japanese hiragana lesson. And oh, you didn't read the f you didn't read that, but it's all right. Have a good night. <laughs> oh, I can actually go back to the the Shrine of Resurrection. That's funny. <laughs> Oops. I was I was just excited about the the Goron Springs, but you know. Now that now that the res the shrine of resurrection has them too, I'll go back there in a second. Thank you for that tip, Kink. <laughs> you didn't read that, Philly. That's alright. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Good night, y'all. Hope you have a great rest of your uh, what's tonight? Tuesday night. And I will see you all tomorrow for Wednesday. There's a dragon in the background. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Bye. See y'all tomorrow. Appreciate you guys. Never change. Good night, friendos. Bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good sleep.